going on, guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at you with another Lord's Mobile live stream. Uh, we're back. We've just finished an awesome live stream. If you guys are tuning in now, but you didn't tune in for the previous live stream, you missed a good one. What can I say, guys? You snoozing. You missed a good one. It was a good one. It was a good stream. I'm pretty sure anybody here who was there will say, even if they don't play the game, had a good time in that stream. It was a lot of fun. If you were in the last stream, and now you're in this stream. Put, oh, put, put, put something in the chat. Put, put some hearts in the chat. If you were in the last stream and you really enjoyed it, even though you don't play the game. I want to see those hearts because I know there was people in that last stream that don't play the game that enjoyed it. So I know you guys are here. I know you guys are here. <laughs> Yeah, you're missing out, guys. You're missing out. Anyway, we're back because I decided today to split the two games up on two different live streams. As you probably can tell, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with my live streams lately. Yo, thank you for those hearts. And thank you for checking out my previous stream. You guys are awesome. Um, I've been doing a bit of experimenting lately uh, with, with the content on the streams. So the first experiment was basically putting up a live stream with a lords mobile thumbnail play some lords and then go on to some other games like well some other mobile games like world of water one punch man we played the other day i then do the opposite put up a live stream with a world of water thumbnail start with world of water and then go on to lords mobile so everybody that didn't come in the stream when the world of water thumbnail was up missed out on a bunch of lords mobile content because that all came at the back end of the stream and then today I've done two separate streams, one stream for the World of Water and a second stream for Lords Mobile. So I'm just basically trying some things out. Apologies for the confusion with me switching things up and stuff. But it's just me trying some stuff out, trying to work out what's good for numbers, what's good for retention, all these kind of things at the end of the day. I'm trying to work all that stuff out. So yeah, I'm trying to work it all out. I know some of you guys are like, Mike, you post it, we'll watch it. <laughs> but some are not. So I have to try and work out what works and what doesn't. So I wasn't there, but I'll give you a heart anyway. Ah, uh, thank you, bro. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to sort my chat box out because I've been fiddling with it. Um, yeah, I've been fiddling with my chat box. What can I say? Um, hmm. That looks right, but it's too long. Hang on a minute. <laughs> That's what she said. Hang on two secs, hold on. Uh, that's better. Yeah, I mean, you can see the chat. It's there. All right, it's kind of too wide now. Hang on. She also said that too. Hang on a sec. Right, there we go. The chat's in the box. You guys can see it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, nice. So anyway, guys, welcome back to the stream. Uh, we're going to be going ahead and looking at a new leader skin that's turned up in Lords Mobile. So yeah, we've got a... A new little thing happening. They've got a maintenance coming soon. I'm assuming it's so they can put their new leader skin on the server. Let's go take a look and see what it's like. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, don't want to keep waiting too long. So here we go. Jumping into the game. And uh, yeah, so basically here it is. You can see it from the thumbnail. Here's the new leader skin. Uh, it's called Dolly Jinx is the new one and there it is boom there you go take a look that right there it probably not free to play absolutely not free to play at all you've got to spend money to get this and probably a lot um crazy man the amount of leader skins that igg are dropping is on another level uh it's it's a lot in it it's a lot of uh they come with a new pay pack promos what wait what no way bro there's a pack? Shut up. There's no pack, dude. Not for leader skins. No, unless there's a... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way they've done a pack. <laughs> Can you imagine if they've done a pack? I'd laugh my ass off. There's no pack. What are you talking about? What pack? There's no pack, dude. Pack? What pack? Nah, there's no pack. Um. Okay. That's the new hero. Wait, you're gonna put it in Discord? Put it in, di dude. Put it in Discord. I'll take a look. Where, where, where are you? Where are you guys finding this information? Show and post it in Discord then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my opinion on it in a second. I'm just letting you look at it for a minute. Hang on. Post it in general, or if you, hang on. We, oh, in the membership group. Post it in the membership membership group, bro. 
All right, we'll, we'll wait for that to pop up in the membership group. What do I think of this hero? Uh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I think it looks, I think it looks all right. I don't, I think, I think if anything, it looks, it looks, I mean, I like witches and wizards. You know, I'm a Harry Potter fan, right? I don't know about the whole emo look with, with, the, with the, with the bear head and stuff and the bunny rabbit. I don't know about all that. But I mean, like the actual here, the actual hero at leader skin itself is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it, no, I like it. I think it looks, I think it looks, it, I mean, to be honest with you, compared to all of the other leader skins they've done of late, I think it's one of the better looking ones. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm just talking about design at the moment. I ain't got into the unlocking things yet. I'm just talking about design. I'm also waiting for this screenshot. Because I want to see the screenshot. It hasn't been posted yet. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as the design goes, I think it's one of the better looking heroes that they've actually designed. As far as, well, hero skin, should I say. Of course, it comes with the usual 1% attack. Right? And, of course, it comes with the exact same skill, which is... I don't understand why all these different leader skins have all the same ability. Like, surely it would make more sense to put different map skills on the different leader skins so it actually has some value to unlock multiple of them because you get different map skills that might be good for certain situations and different map skills that are better for other situations. But the fact is that every leader skin has the identical map skill. So, I mean, once you get one, it's like, well, what do I need to get this for? 1% attack? So, like, the motivation to get the skin is low because they don't add anything good with it. This is a big problem with IgG at the moment with their cosmetics. They're not giving you much with it. You know, it's just, it's just, it doesn't have much, does it? But why would, why do I want this? Just tell me why. There's no reason why. Oh, bro, I've already seen that. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's got nothing to do with, okay. That's got nothing to do with uh, this leader skin, bro. That's got nothing to do with this leader skin. That's just the promo, the promo pack. We, we saw that yesterday. That's old news, bro. Yeah, we saw that yesterday. The anniversary gala thing, wherever it was. It, where is it? I don't even know where it is. Expedition Ward. What's this? Oh, 50% infirmary healing. But it doesn't matter. We're still not going to play the event. It's still a rip. Yeah. I can't, I don't know where that pack thing is. There's a pack in here. So, oh, it's up here probably. Oh, it's disappeared now. It was only here for one day. Oh, you'll see it tomorrow, I guess. There's, there, there's, it's not up here no more. It's, it's, it's come off the Taiwan server. But yeah, I showed it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the screens. Missed that yesterday. Got the screens today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed it yesterday in yesterday's live stream, bro. Um... So again, I mean, as far as this goes, look, at the end of the day, it's a cool, I think it's one of the better designs. I think it looks, I think it looks cool. It is, yeah, I mean, it's cool. The avatars are cool as well. But again, it's just like, what's the motivation to get it? Do you know what I mean? Show you the SS. You've already seen it. I posted it in yesterday's live stream, dude. You, you didn't see it? Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, I didn't see that one. One of oh, there's one with champion chest as well. There's cheaper. I didn't see that one. Hang on a second. I'll show you quickly, chat. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Why can't you say? Oh, the the screen's not sized. Sorry. There you go. These are the these are the special deal packs that are coming. So you got this one here where it basically says you can buy them individually for five, 10, 20. That's $35. Or you can buy all three for $25. So you're saving 10 pounds. But I mean, based on what you're getting, I mean, these familiar chairs, these, these astralite chests are normally hit and miss. That's not really that many jewel chests, to be honest with you. And it ain't really that many star chests. I think for the money they're asking, I think it's a bit much. There is some ultra rare chests there, but for me anyway, it ain't really got the value because they're, mo they're monstrous crate level ones. There's no ambergris crystals in there. So I lose interest when there's no crystals in there because I I'm working on my ring, right? 
The only thing in there that I'm kind of interested in is the bloods. One item out of that whole chest. So for me, it's not really much value here for me. But for, for, maybe for newer players, possibly there maybe will be some value. And again, newer players possibly may have found some value in here. If you're working on champ, that's not a lot of champ chests. So, I mean, that's nothing to get excited about. There's a few tomes. I mean, for eight bucks, I guess you can't really go wrong for eight bucks. You get some gems, some ultra rares if you need them, some tomes and the, the, the gacha of some champion stuff. So, I mean, for eight bucks, I guess this one ain't too bad, I suppose. Um, but the other one for 25, I think this is a bit much. I think this is quite a lot, really, for what it's asking for. I don't, I don't think this one's worth it at all. Uh, this one is a little bit... It's not worth it, but it's a little bit more worth it. It's definitely more worth than the other one. So that's the two packs that are coming uh, to the two promotional pack things that are bringing out, which are going to be coming out soon. But going back to this hero... I have a I have a big issue with the fact they keep putting the same map skills on all these different leader skins. And 1% attack just doesn't interest me at all. I'm not going to stress out about 1% attack. I mean it's just it's just the you know it, thing is there's no pack to purchase this. There's no medals to collect by doing hero stages. You can't hunt monsters for these medals. You can't play the game to get these medals, okay? There's no game mechanic to unlock this item that they're bringing out. The only way you can unlock this is to go into the Elite Labyrinth, where there is already a bunch of other skins already in there. And the only way to do it is to spend money. It seems to be a common theme with IGG and Lords Mobile at the moment. Every single event that comes out in this game lately is money every single event and that includes the pvp stuff as well because even kvk is money because you need to you need to buy lunite it's false pvp you can buy lunite and play or you cannot buy lunite and don't play it's false pvp so you're, you're you're forced to spend money to do kvk you're forced to spend money to play guild expedition the brand new event because you need to heal your troops with resources and speed ups and relocators and everything else in there. The only event that really doesn't hit you too hard in the wallet is Dragon Arena. That's literally the only event right now that you can play where you don't lose any troops. You still use a few speed ups to heal you to, to heal your troops, but it ain't really that bad. And I mean, maybe a few speed boots, nothing, a couple of reloads, nothing too crazy. Like that Dragon Arena is the most cost effective, like event that happens in Lords, and it happens once a week or once every two weeks. Every new feature they're bringing out in this game is pay every single event. And they're keeping everyone pacified by bringing out these shitty little events that free to play get excited about because, oh, but I can get some free items when I play this event. Look, I can come in here and get a couple of emotes and, and I can get to like, level 60 maybe i'll get a couple of these training chests and oh yeah this event's great i get like 15 monstrous chests oh thank you igg i'm so grateful for these great prizes you know so free to play is going to be all happy about having like 56 you know a few of these little handful of chests that igg give them but i mean all of the all of the main items i mean this pagan event is a really bad example because the the, the leader skin in here and the castle skin is awful like, it's just, it's just full on, not very good at all. Like, not interested in the slightest. So that's a really bad example. But things like the Shrek event, How to Train Your Dragon, Saint Seiya, ACW, you know, all these different collaborations that are coming out all require you to spend a lot of money to get the items open. I mean, look at the bloody Shrek event, guys. Look how much I had to spend to get my freaking artifact sorted out. That happily ever after artifact. You know I really struggled with that RNG event because I was just buying pack after pack trying to get that stupid cat paw puzzle piece to come out and it wouldn't come out, would it? Let me leave this up on the screen so you can guys can see this while I'm ranting. <laughs> it's a rent stream. Like, so like, you know, I was buying pack after pack after pack trying to get that cat paw piece up and I couldn't get it. And it cost so much money just to get that artifact finished. 
And just when I thought I'd done it, and I was like, oh, sweet, finally, I got that artifact done. They brought out a second RNG pay-to-play event with the Fiona Kisses. Back-to-back, pay-to-win. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, that was nuts. That's why I never bothered doing the artifact. That's why I never bothered doing this crash helmet they got in this one. I just unlocked it, got it to two stars. That's it, done. I don't want to do it no more. You know what I mean? It's just stupid. It's just... It's, and, and, and every event they're coming up with... It's just more money, more money, more money on every single event. And I think it's just stupid at this point. Like, IGG, do you not have any people in your team that are creative enough to make a really good event that people can actually play and actually play the game to unlock unlock rewards? Now, I understand that might make not make you loads and loads of money, but I mean, you already make loads and loads of money off people with the tier five and the forced PVP we're forced to play with the Lunite and... All this other shit that you keep bringing out in collaborations and stuff. I mean, I thought about just maybe adding something which people can play and have fun playing the game with and actually try and unlock some stuff by playing the game as opposed to just getting their credit card out. Oh, wait, you did try and do that. You brought Guild Expedition, but then you made everybody heal and you still make people heal. Even though you've reduced it by 50%, it ain't enough. It just ain't enough. People need to have another event in this game, or not another, because there isn't one to start with. People need an, an event in this game that they can play without having to stress out about where the Blue Knight's coming from, or where the troops are healing are coming from, or where, you know, just a decent event to play, which we can have fun with. I mean, other mobile games are doing just that. They're giving people content that doesn't require them to swipe, swipe, swipe constantly. It just seems every single collaboration, every single new feature, every single event that IGG is bringing out of late costs lots of money. And this event is no less. This is this event will be no less. This this leader skin will cost you a lot of money to unlock. And the reason being is it because it's going to be hidden away behind the labyrinth challenge. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you there will be people going crazy in there with this because there's there's different types of players man there's some players which are more reserved there's some players that are just got monkey brains that just you know <laughs> you know just swipe 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 you know they don't they don't care you know what i mean and then there's obviously dodgy accounts that igg push up to make the rankings kind of like go all wonky we all know about that i ain't got no proof but i mean my gut tells me otherwise that these when these rankings are manipulated something heavily and so Getting these things is just going to be a pain in the ass. It's why I've not even bothered. I've not even bothered. You know what? I wanted one leader skin. I wanted one leader skin. And I made it very clear to every player in that leaderboard that day that I was winning it. And nobody even pushed me because I just went right up. And I spent a lot of money doing it. But then I knew I'd have to because I knew if I was any lower in coins on the Tycoon it was, the Tycoon challenge, someone would have been like, oh, I think I can beat him. And they'd start spending money to try and catch me. So I made it clear from day one that this skin's mine today. And I got the skin I wanted. I'm happy with my leader skin. And I don't really, considering how much I spent to get my leader skin, it was a lot of money to get my leader skin. I have no intention of switching my leader skin out at all. I've got my leader skin. I'm happy with it. I've got no motivation at all to even think about trying to unlock this, even if I do like it. Do I like this design? Yes, I think it's a very nice designed hero skin. Do I have any motivation to get this? Absolutely not. 1% attack is ridiculous. I don't want that. And map skill is the same as what I've already got. So other than the look, other than the cosmetic look of this, that doesn't really do anything that mine doesn't do. I mean, you could argue the point, okay mike but if you get all the leader skins it's one percent per leader skin so if you had all four of those that's actually four percent which is starting to add up yeah you know what it is and i think that's what they're going with i think they just want to keep releasing multiple leader skins so that, that one percent attack doesn't sound like a lot but when there's like 15 or 20 leader skins out if you have all of them it's like 20 percent extra attack stats and then that sounds like that makes a little bit more of a difference right not a major difference but it's gonna make a little bit more of a difference but not really to me i mean maybe to some emperor account that's trying to battle for emperor maybe the extra 10 percent attack stats or 15 percent from all those leader skins they might be like oh we we definitely need to get that because we need the edge maybe for those guys 
but definitely not for me, not for anybody else either. So I don't really give a shit about those 1% stats. Uh-uh, you can shove those. So yeah, really, it's just, it's just frustrating that they keep putting these skins behind these ranking events. I just, I hate these ranking events. I really, really annoying. Um, but there you go, guys. That's my hot take on it. That's my two cents on it. It's just for the look. Absolutely. Robbo says in the chat, come on, leader skins are just for donuts. I know, right? Well, I mean, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> for the most part. Um, he really wants the race car leader skin, bro. I definitely don't want the race car leader skin. It's probably one of the worst leader skins I have ever seen in, in any mobile game ever. It's absolutely awful, man. I mean, what the actual frick is that? I mean, maybe it will appeal to you if you're a vegan or maybe you identify as like a, like a lamppost or something. Maybe you'll like that, but it's definitely not for me. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Let's, uh, let's jump onto my other account. I need to do some clicks. Uh, <laughs> I got to do some clicky clicks. Let's jump onto here. Uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, I'm so glad I stopped playing two years ago, says JD. Well, I think a lot of people feel that way. But to be honest with you, it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Honestly, it's not too bad these days. I mean, my main account, I'm able to do things. I'm able to do bits. I'm able to um, fight people. Maybe not full, 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 full on maxed accounts. But I mean, like, I can still do pretty well against some of them, you know? Uh, what's wrong with vegan? Nothing's wrong with vegans, man. I love the vegans. Mwah. I love you vegans. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now, now I've shown you the new skin. Um, I'm going to go and do my dailies on my free to play account. And then I'm going to jump over and check out the main account. Also, guys, I hit the button. This I hit the button this morning on my main account in the artifact room, the artifact building. And... I managed to, after that insane luck I had yesterday on my rally trap, which tilted me so hard, right? I actually got a new artifact this morning. I got a 50 drop on a brand new artifact. Yeah. I was like, I, I went in there this morning. I, I was sitting here this morning, right? And I was having a cup of coffee because I'm allowed to have one cup of coffee in the morning. I can't have breakfast at the moment because I'm water fasting, but I still have a coffee in the morning, man. I ain't... I've got to have my coffee. <laughs> so uh, anyway, and I know someone asked me earlier on about butter coffee. I can't have the butter at the moment because I'm fasting. Um, anyway, I was sitting here with a cup of coffee this morning and I was doing some clicks on my main account and I went into the artifact building and I pressed it to get my free spin for the day and a bloody artifact dropped that I needed. I was like, oh my God, wow. I wasn't expecting that. It wasn't the one I wanted. It wasn't the one I got on my rally trap but it's still it's still a pretty good one it's still a pretty good one so well it's, it's okay it's not an amazing one but i'll show you in a minute what's that say a lot of people quit and left lots left ksr almost whole different guild now yeah well i mean look times change not everybody likes to keep playing people get bored people move on it is what it is i mean i still enjoy playing lords i get frustrated with lords oh my god do i get frustrated guys <sighs> I do get frustrated with Lord sometimes, but you know what? I still enjoy the game. I still get the buzz when I rally castles and stuff and burn them and I love it. It's fun. I love playing Dragon Arena. I still enjoy doing Barons and Chalice. You know, I, I like doing all that stuff. When we get a good matchup anyway, we didn't go to the last Baron because it was full of Emperor accounts. I was like, nah, not today. Not today. Not feeling it today, guys. But no, I'm still enjoying it. Um, okay. I kind of should do this. I mean, it's annoying. I just want to get this finished. To be honest with you. I kind of miss doing this. Yo, guys, do you think IGG should bring back another adventure log for all the new, all the old accounts so we can do this all over again for different rewards? Would you like to do this again? <laughs> I bet everyone's going to say no. <laughs> no! No! You also enjoy healing in Guild Expedition. <laughs> Listen, I played that. I done that. Guys, can I just say, right? I done that stream when Guild Expedition, the first Guild Expedition. Yeah. Yeah. I done that stream. I decided to play it. I think I waited like three days. I sat by the, I sat by the Guild headquarters in my bubble for three days. And then I said to myself, screw it. I'm going to do it for the content. 
Whatever. People want to see me play it. It's the first one. Let me just play it. We're not up against big war guilds. Let me just play it. So I played it on that live stream for four hours. And I had like six, I had like seven, eight hundred people in this stream watching me play this guild, Exp guild expedition. It was a banging stream. There were so many people in here. I would, and you know what? I think it would be that way regularly. Every, every three weeks, I'd probably get a shit ton of people in here watching me play this if it was fighting in there, right? It would be awesome. It'd be like a mini KVK. But it ain't gonna happen while we have to heal. I ain't going into a war with big war guilds fighting with tier five while we've got a heal. And I don't care if they've reduced it by 50%. It's not, not enough. It needs to be like Dragon Arena. I won't do it. We didn't do the last one. We let PCS take the entire kingdom. Not that we're not saying we'd beat PCS, but we would have gave them a fight. You know what I mean? We would have given them a fight if we, if we, if we'd have actually decided to fight. I ain't saying we would have won, but we definitely would have put up a fight for sure. And like, you know, like we didn't, we just sat back for the whole time. They asked us if we want third place. We said, yeah, sure. We took third place and that was that boom, done. Like we didn't, we, you know, we, we, they, they, they could see we weren't interested. We literally just sat by the base the entire time. We, we, we weren't going to, we said to each other, we're not going to do it. We bought the silver pass. IGG made some money. I bet they're really happy about that. They made some money. We bought the silver pass. We just sat in the base gathering and monster hunting, just finishing off our silver pass, got all of our medals, and then out we went back to the home kingdom. I only went back in there just to go and claim a couple of faults so we could get third place. That was it. And we'll be doing exactly the same thing this guild expedition because they haven't changed it for this guild expedition. So we will be doing the exact same thing this time around, guys. And I would recommend you do the same thing and save your resources and save your Lunite. Just port to the base, do your solos, whether that's the bronze free to play, silver, or if you want to buy the gold, I wouldn't. It's not worth it. But if you do the gold, get your solos done and then get the hell out of there. Because it's just not worth it, man. Not until they fix it properly. I said the other day when they made the changes, I appreciate they are listening a little bit and I appreciate they're making changes, but they haven't made the, the, the full change that needs to happen for that event to be doable. At the moment, it's still unplayable. So yeah, there it is. Um, Bargain store's coming. Okay, good, good. One out of eight always disagrees for T2 War in Guild Expedition. Bro, you're never going to get that to happen, Rushan. I'm telling you now, dude. In, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, you could get that to work, right? In an ideal world, you could all talk to each other and say, listen, guys, let's just all fight with Tier 2. And then, you know, the losses we have, no one's really going to feel it. And, you know, it doesn't matter whether we use tier two or tier five, guys. It's the stats, isn't it? Everything all is the same. It's just these hit harder than these. It doesn't make any difference if it's tier one, tier two, tier three, tier... It don't matter. Use all tier twos. And then it's the same fight, but you don't have to spend nowhere near the amount of money. But there's always going to be one guild that will not do it because... Oh, hello. I've got no energy, though. There's always one guild that won't do it. And you know why? Because they want to win. There's always going to be one guild that wants to win and they will use any advantage they can to win. And they know if they have a higher tier five count than you, they will probably beat you. So they will use everything they can to win. And it's always going to be one guild, one twat in some leadership team that doesn't want to do it. And that's that done. Trust me, it's, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not going to happen, man. It's always going to be some clown like, oh, no, we got to win. We got to win, win. And they all come at you with tier five. You know, in it. <laughs> trust me, man. Those people exist in Lords Mobile. They've got long front buck teeth. They've got greasy hair that's parted in the middle. They've got glasses that are about three inches thick. One eye slightly goes off to the right when the other one's looking forward. Their knees are very, their legs are very skinny. Their knees bang together when they walk. They've got bad breath. They've got slightly hunched shoulders with a little, little hunch lump on the back. And they walk around, you know, with a notepad and pen. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. they go by the name of Igor. There's always one of them in every, in a leadership team somewhere. 
and they don't want to play with tier two they want to play with tier five they want to win they got to win it has they have to win you know trust me that person always exists dark grave says why are you always describing me makes me cry <laughs> yeah damn eagles man yeah i always hit towers with tier two yeah do that and if you get knocked out with tier five just go back to the guild expedition and go headquarters and relax don't waste your money guys on guild expedition it's not worth it just get your silver pack if you can do your solos get your medals and get out of there don't buy the artifact medals get the hero medals for god's sake that artifact is absolutely awful they've put in there just get the hero medals and get out of there <laughs> ah crazy right crazy 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 you know what though i don't think they're going to change it that's the truth i mean i know they reduce it to 50 i don't think they're going to reduce it to zero because they want people to use Lunai. They want people to use resources. They want it to cost people money. They want to sell more packs. That's all they're interested in lately. Money, 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 money. They've forgotten about the community. They've forgotten about their game community. This happened two years ago when they brought out Astrolite and Artifacts. They forgot about their game community and they just decided to try and rip them off. And so many people quit the game. And then they realized, oh shit, what have we done? We've just, we just messed up. We just lost, we, we just lost like 50% of our pay to play gaming community. Oh dear. And there's only one person to blame for that. Whoever made the decision on IGG to release Astrolite and Artifacts within a month of each other. Now I'm not saying Astrolite and Artifacts couldn't come into the game. Okay, yeah. Okay, Astrolite could be an update in Lords Mobile and so could Artifacts, but not within a month of each other. Like, what were they thinking, man? Like, they're on some dude over at IGG smoking crack. Like, what's he doing? Bringing that out a month within each other. That's just crazy. Like, I'm not surprised they lost so many players on that. Because it was a, it was like sitting at the bottom of Mount Everest and looking up going, oh, shit. You know what I mean? That's literally what it was like. It was like walking up Everest and then having to walk up it again. It was like, no way. So many players were just like, F that. And they just quit the game. Mm. Austin says tier 5 is what killed the game at first at least I don't know if tier 5 killed the game at first I for being honest with you bro I'm going to have to disagree with you there Austin only because tier 5 everyone was kind of hype about tier 5 when tier 5 came out you know Lords Mobile had been out for like 5 years they hadn't done no tier troop upgrades after 5 years boom they brought in tier five like it was the first tier upgrade on troops in five years i think people were actually hype about tier five when it came out i mean i've done a live stream opening up tier five on the touch my Q account and i had like three and a half thousand people in there watching it i mean it was insane like and views back then were extremely high like that lords was really popular when tier five came out it, it made the game more expensive yeah i agree with that of course but i mean i don't think it put people off to the point where they all quit I believe, well, I don't, I, I believe this because I can look at my channel analytics and I can see when the dips happen and when, 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 um, yeah, Lunite is also, a, yeah, Lunite is a problem, I know, but when, when, uh, when Artifacts and Astrolite came out, yeah, Ast Astrolite came out in the January and then I think it was in the, was it in the March? It was like a month later, um, just over a month later, Artifacts dropped. That's when I saw the dip in the view views on my Lord's mobile content, a big dip because, and it hasn't, re it hasn't really recovered. <laughs> I've lost so many views on my Lord's mobile content since artifacts and actual light come out. That almost killed the game. I mean, it did. It almost killed. I mean, to be honest with you, it pretty much killed the game. I mean, it's somewhat recovered a little bit, but lately it's just getting on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves because it's just constant pay event after pay event after pay event. And look, this 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 Pagani thing finishes in nine days. This Pagani event finishes in nine days, right? And in nine days time, I guarantee we're going to get, well, maybe not directly straight after. But when's that when's that film come out? When's the film come out? I'm going to ask Google. Hey, Google. When does the new King Kong and Godzilla film come out? March 29th. March 29th. 
so there's gonna i reckon there's gonna be a month gap between this event and the godzilla thing i can't see igg i would be surprised if igg release a collaboration event with king kong and godzilla the new empire before the game's out in the uk oh that's the uk release what's the usa release wait what is the us release of godzilla king kong new empire 29th of march okay cool so 29th of march so it's 29th of march yeah, yeah, yeah so i can't imagine them releasing a collaboration event for that movie before the movie is actually released in the world so the 29th of March is when that movie releases. So I would imagine if the Pagani thing finishes in nine days on the 29th of February or 1st of March. I reckon we'll get like three week gap and then we'll get the next collaboration. I reckon IGG says F you and run the collab all of March to hype everyone up for the movie and fleece everyone. Oh, hot take from the bear. Hot take from the bear, guys. Bear reckons they are going to release it straight after, and it's going to basically be promo for the movie that's coming out end of the March. What do you reckon, guys? I'm going to put a poll up. <laughs> Yo, bear, it's me versus you. Oh, now chat's going to side with you, bro. I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is an L already before it's even begun. Like, chat, chat's going to go with bear. All right, who is right? Um, which is the correct statement? <laughs> okay so the first quote the first one's gonna be wp uh end of march release uh when movie is out and second take is gonna be bear um straight after pagani uh uh um one month before release to hype up the movie all right here we go okay two takes bear v i don't even know why i'm doing this this is so dumb uh bear, v <laughs> bear versus prince um great hang on a sec oh wait a minute i can't oh there we go start the poll why can't i start the poll oh it must be oh Okay, I'm gonna, I can't do that. Straight after Pagani. End of March when movie. End of March release. There you go, I had to keep it short. Okay, so the two options are WP, end of March release. Bear, straight after Pagani. The poll's going up, guys. There it is. Which is the correct statement? Uh, end of March release when the movie releases or straight after Pagani? What do you reckon they're gonna do? Put your, put your, put your, <laughs> yo, yo, what is this? Yo, chat, man. No one's agreeing with me. Okay. Well, I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> to be honest with you, when Bear said that, I kind of felt like I would agree with Bear, actually. No, I kind of feel like Bear's right, to be honest with you. I feel like, I, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that, to be honest with you, if I'm being honest. No, but I didn't even think of that. Actually, he's got a point. He has got a point. He's got a good point. He's got a point that basically, like, it, they, they will release it beginning and do a month hype for the movie. So everyone gets hyped for the movie. It would make sense, right? It would absolutely make sense. It might come before Picani has got. No. That'd be, that'd be crazy. All right. So look, I'm getting rid of that poll because everybody's voted for. Everyone's voted for better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got like 15% on that poll. I done shit on that poll. Okay, yeah. They could even do a two-month collab. One month hype and one month after release. Oh, no. Don't say that. Yeah, and you know what they could do with that? They could put another two of those dumb RNG events in. You know that's what they're going to do, guys. I mean, look, you know I'll bring you the video and go over the events and stuff so you guys know what's up. But at the end of the day, we all know right now what's going to be in this collaboration event. They're going to do the same rinse and repeat shite that we've had for the last three months. They're going to basically bring out the Donkey Kong event. They're going to put some event in the news, which is going to have a couple of crappy rewards that free to play are going to get excited about. And I'm going to get excited about on my free to play account here. So, you know, there's going to be that. 
And then there's going to be an RNG event. It's probably going to have a castle skin. There's probably going to be hero skin. I would imagine there's going to be like a King Kong gorilla and probably a Godzilla leader skin, no doubt. But you're not probably going to be able to get it because both the leader skins and well, not so much the castle skin, but the leader skins are going to be behind huge four figure paywalls. And they've done that on the Shrek event. I could not unlock. I could. I couldn't unlock the. Uh, even if I wanted it, no. It's not that I couldn't unlock it. I chose not to unlock it. <laughs> I can't show you on this account. I'm on the wrong account. Have I done my dailies? No. I need to do my dailies. Right. I'll go on my main account in a minute. I couldn't use the Puss in Boots skin because they put it behind a massive paywall, and it's just not worth it. I want to say this very clearly. If you spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on that RNG event to get that Puss and Boots skin for zero stats, you are a clown. Okay, that that there's no there's no other word to describe you. If you did that, you are a clown. If you done it and got the Shrek skin, spent hundreds and tens of that hundred hundreds and thousands of dollars on all of the RNG items just to get that Shrek skin. For no stats, you are also a clown. Your IGG's clown. That, that's the that's the truth. Like, it's just dumb. It's just so dumb. Like, why would you do it? It's just dumb. Clown or son of a billionaire. I mean, it's just dumb though, isn't it? This, I mean, I don't care if you're a billionaire, man. Billionaires don't become billionaires by spending f all their money, like, not all their money, but thousands of dollars on shite like that. You know what I mean? That's just crazy. It's just crazy. If you spend money in the game, you're a clown. Point blank, says Nabil. <laughs> Bro, I can't actually argue with it, to be honest with you. It's, 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 it is logical. It is logical. It is logical. Thing is though, right? I don't mind spending money on video games. Like I've bought video games all my life. Like, but I'm I, I'm from a different generation to what it is now, man. I remember going to the going to the going to the video game store and buying a video game on like my Nintendo or my PlayStation, and I'd spend the, I'd buy I could normally like forty pounds, fifty bucks, yeah. I go and buy a game, take it home, play it, get all the content on that game. There's no DLC or extra paid content. I just play the game all through and then I complete it and then I go buy another game. And nowadays things are just weird, man. You go and buy a triple A game nowadays, you buy it for like a hundred bucks, which is some of these games have been charging. $70, 60 pounds for a triple A game nowadays. You get it, you open up the game, you put it in and then you, you log into it. And then you find that you've got battle passes that cost more money, cosmetics that cost more money. Like, why do these cosmetics cost money when I've just paid for this game? They should be part of the game. Why do I have to pay extra for cosmetics? That should be part of the game that I just bought. So why do I have to pay extra for this shit? It's a bit of a piss take, to be honest with you. Thing is, people do it. And if people do it, they're going to keep doing it. That's just the way the, that's the, way the world is nowadays. It's true though, right? Like you, you like like a good example would be like I don't know Diablo Four, for example. Diablo Four. You got, I bought Diablo Four for a hundred dollars. I bought the hun. I was I was a, I was a donut, and I went and bought the hundred dollar version of Dab Diablo Four so I could get my season one pass. You know what I mean? Season one pass. Okay, it's a live service game, so there's like you got to pay for each season. Okay, which are like add-ons, whatever. I paid for the season one. I get Diablo 4 and straight away, like all of the cool cosmetics, all the good skins, you got to pay extra for. Like, hang on a minute. I just spent $100 on this game. Why is there content that's not in this game? Why are you now asking me for more money to get this content? I've just bought the game. Why ain't it in the game? I just think it's dumb. Like, it's just so, it's so dumb. And you know what it's like in a live service game like Diablo multiplayer when you're walking around and stuff. You want to look cool in front of your friends. So like you go and get the stuff. And that's what they prey on. 
They prey on that social thing, don't they? That social standing thing. Oh, he wants to look cool in front of his mates on the game. He'll go and buy this outfit and stuff, that helmet. So his mates go, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool cosmetics you've got on. Just to get that, you know, what's, what is that? To get a dopamine hit or something? Like, what is that? It's just dumb. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's a piss take, but at least in those games, buying the battle passes cosmetics doesn't change gameplay or make you stronger. True. Yeah, no, that is a big true. It doesn't make you stronger. I still think it's a piss take. They put all that stuff in there after you bought the game. But yeah, true. You know what, though? Rather than rather than having like things in the game like that, though, where you've got to spend money to get them, wouldn't it be better to put like those cosmetics behind in-game challenges? Like make the challenges difficult by all means, but like put those things behind in-game challenges so that if someone spends a lot of time and effort to actually do something in the game, they get that cosmetic as a reward. That way wearing that cosmetic actually stands for something. It stands for, I've put a lot of effort in the game. I've got a good skill because I've done this boss in a certain time limit or I've done this level in a certain speed run or whatever you've done, right? I managed to complete this level without taking any damage. Whatever it is you've done to get that item, people look at your item and say, oh, wow, he's a really good player because he's got this. But like, that's not how gaming is these days. People get all these fancy cosmetics and people don't look at you and think, oh, you're a great player because you've got this cosmetic. People look at you and say, oh, well, you put a lot of effort in to get that. Well, you just swiped your credit card a couple of times and now you've got that. Well, that makes you a great gamer. That does. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's there's there's no there's no achievement. There's no there's no real reason to chase the achievement of doing anything because all the added extras are put behind paywalls. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. I clicked on the wrong one. Wasn't paying attention. Ahmed's got the twenty thousand, the twenty k firewalk. Get the two k firewalk. Yeah, but the thing is that you have to understand that IgG have to advertise their products. So the best way to advertise their products is to have the big, big, big accounts. <laughs> I'm just going to come out and say it. Fuck it. I don't care. The, 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 the only way, the best way for IgG to, to show off their cosmetics is to have it put on their sponsored accounts so people see it. So when the, when the, when, when you see the dog, the dog shit root stain come out that costs two grand, you're going to see the likes of certain players were using it so they can advertise it to try and make you want it as well. Oh, he's got it. I want it as well. I want to be like him. So I want to go get the skin. Do you know what I mean? I want to get the root skin because I saw him use it. That's what they're trying. That's their tactic with that. That's why they that's why they put it on their big sponsored accounts. That's not news to anyone. Exactly. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Everyone's not stupid. You guys ain't stupid. You know. You know how this game is. You know what they're up to. They've been doing that shit for years, man. That ain't nothing new for IGG. Stop the cap block. Yeah, stop cap blocking. You don't need to do cap blocks. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, yeah, so yesterday we had some insane luck on this. Was it on? Yeah, I had some insane luck on this free to play account. I unlocked this gold feather yesterday. I don't even have this on my main account yet. And I got this open on my free to play account yesterday. Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable that I got that unlocked. I only had like three, 400 coins and I hit it and I got that gold feather. I was like, no way, man. That's so annoying. Saying that you did spend money on a skin print. Yeah, I did. Listen, I'm not saying I don't agree with spending money on a mobile game. I'm not saying I don't agree with it, all right? I'm saying that it's frustrating when it's constant. That's what I'm getting at, okay? I don't mind buying things on mobile games, okay? I don't mind doing gacha. I like gacha. And it's, gacha is basically gambling. That's literally what gacha is, right? It's gambling for kids. I don't mind doing it. I find it fun. I like the dopamine. I like the dopamine hit I get when I get something I'm looking for. For me, it's entertainment. And that's fine. And I love the fact that I stream and that you guys come and enjoy it with me too. It's fun. I enjoy that aspect of my life. I like playing those games for that reason. Okay. I enjoy the entertain entertainment aspect that comes with it. So yeah, I like doing it. And I like Lords because I like the game mechanics of Lords. 
Lords just is very nicely laid out. I like the graphics of Lords. I like the game mechanics of Lords. It all plays really nicely. I like the strategy in Lords. You know, when it comes to Wonders, it's not just about who spent the most. It comes down to a lot of other things as well. I've shown you that when I've beaten accounts that have been bigger than me. It's not all about who's got the bigger account sometimes. I mean, it helps, but it's not like the be all and end all. So, but my, my issue that I'm complaining with is with regards to this particular game in general is the constant, the constant events are just constantly paid events. Like, I just want to see some content added that doesn't revolve around a credit card. It would be nice. And you might ask why. Why do you want that content? Because I want to see the game grow a bit more than what it has. I mean, my, my channel is, for example, the majority of the people here are here for Lords Mobile. Do I want to see the game foul? No. Not that that would be the end of my channel. It would definitely drop. Of course, I know this. But like, I still would have an audience to be able to play other games. And I'm, I'm grateful and thankful for that, right? But like, at the end of the day, this is the main game on the channel. This is like, this is like the main game right now on the channel. And then everything else comes underneath it, right? I play other games. I do other playthroughs. I play AAA games on it sometimes. I play all different games. But like, this has always been the main game on the channel, right? And I'd love to see it get back to the, the heights it was before. I'm not saying that's ever going to happen. It probably won't. But it would be great to be able to see Lords Mobile rise up from the depths again and actually become more popular again. But it's not going to happen if they keep bringing out constant pay event after pay event after pay event. Do you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm getting at. That's all I'm getting at. Organic growth is driving free-to-play players into lower paid players in order to drive growth like that. You can't do product growth via all paid. Exactly. You can't do product growth via all paid RNG events. That's what I'm... Dark Grave. Can we get some W's in the chat for Dark Grave? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Do you understand, do you understand what I'm getting at? If I, if I explain myself properly. Hopefully I haven't just confused everyone. I, 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 I have explained it correctly, haven't I? What I'm trying to get at. I just don't feel like IGG's marketing strategy to actually make the game grow again is in place. I feel like they're just too focused on milking the players that are already paying rather than letting the letting the game grow again. They need to take a couple of steps back and work it back up again. And it, like, like Dark just said, that's not going to happen if they just keep putting out RNG pay to play events continuously. That, it's just not going to happen. The game's not going to grow. So, yeah, like, and, that, and, that, and that frustrates me because I care about the game. Of course. It'd be dumb not to care about the game, wouldn't I? I mean, come on. Like, people, like the, the IGG may hear me going off on one about what they're doing and think, oh, Prince is out of game complaining about what we're doing. But, I mean, what, me complaining comes from a place of caring. I want to see the game do well. I want to see that I want to see them make some positive changes. And so far, I haven't really seen much positivity. It's just been a lot of negative stuff. I mean, Guild Expedition's a prime example. The community made such a noise about that healing in there. The noise was loud and clear. Like everybody said the same thing. The healing needs to go. It needs to be like Dragon Arena. Everybody was saying the same thing. There weren't many people that were happy with the way it was. Like a, a minority. There was probably a few people that wanted it to stay as it was just, just to be that person that disagrees. There's always those people in there. It doesn't matter whether they agree with you. They'll disagree just because disagree is an option. Those people exist in the world, believe it or not. Absolute clowns. They are as well. But like for the most part, 90% of everyone was like, yo, it needs to be like Dragon Arena. And IGG had the opportunity. I mean, they had the opportunity before they even dropped the event on the main server. The testing was done on the beta server. Everybody over there said it needs to have no healing. They knew the feedback before they released it. They still released it with it just exactly the same as the, the, as the beta server. They didn't change anything. And then, of course, what happened? Exactly what I said would happen. Everybody went crazy about the healing. I knew that would happen. 
And then they needed to change it to be like Dragon Arena. They had the second chance then to actually get the community on side with them. And did they do it? No. They went to 50%. <laughs> and, they're, 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 and they're leaving it at 50%. It hasn't changed. It still is 50%. Just crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I, I just don't get them. Honestly, I, I don't understand what they're doing over there. Austin says, you notice they changed the RSS pack from 99 to 5 after Guild Expedition. No, yeah, well, they done that a while ago, actually, Austin. They reduced it down to 5, and now instead of being 99, it's 5, and it, and it goes up as you buy it. But it still isn't that value at all, considering you can buy an entire bank for like 10 bucks in lords mobile why would you buy why would you buy their rss pack it's just silly hoping the strict rules soon get applied by china on lords mobile the thing is lords mobile is a singapore game and singapore is a separate country to china they're not the same so chinese law might not go over into singaporean law so i don't think it's going to actually affect it to be honest with you IGG doesn't care about game growth. All they care about is money for the most part, says Mario in the chat. They made towers much harder. I mean, the towers were too easy on the previous ones. So if they made them more difficult, I'm glad. But I don't know how much more difficult they made it because I didn't even do it last one. Riley is a full free-to-play account with 250,000 of infantry range cab T4. Is that good? Also got to... Yeah, it's not too bad. Well done. Imagine asking IGG to do something for players' benefit, says Dingle Dog with the clown emoji. Mm -hmm. I think the only reason to buy the RSS versus a bank is it's in bags, not open. True. That is a benefit. Still expensive, though. I'd rather just migrate and then get a bank. Use it up, migrate, get a bank. Use it, migrate, get a bank. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need bag resources. Actually, I, and if I don't have a bank on me, I can get resources from the guild banks because I've got hypers that make shit loads of resources. We've got, we got bunches of hypers. We, we, have, we, have, we, we never have no resources. We've always got resources. I don't ever have to stress out about resources, guys. Just Lunite. Wait, the, we, we wait. The big update of level 90 heroes to tell you the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Oh, Aquirus Medal. Hello. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's another update that's coming soon as well. And the thing is, it, it's worrying me a little bit, to be honest with you. As you guys know, we saw some screenshots the other day of trophies that were given out during the Chalice. And they were trophies which were only available for level 90 heroes. So, that tells us that that's something that IGG is working on. Now, we don't know any more information than that at the moment. I trust the source, by the way. Some people were messaging me saying, Prince, those were photoshopped. That was photoshopped. It's not real. Listen, right? Those photos were sent to me from a, the person that won Chalice in, in VLY, which is a TWK family guild. TWK family leadership ain't going to lie and send photoshop screenshots to another to, to another member of the family do you know what i mean um so <laughs> no need to call me <laughs> so uh yeah like i i trust the I trust i trust the source where they came from like some people were dubious but i mean i trust the source where they came from right in a minute so yeah level 90 i, I don't know what to even think about that man like, I don't... You know what it worries me? I don't know what they're going to do as far as the concept around it. Like, I, I just... I don't know what they're planning, guys. And we can speculate it as much as we want. I mean, obviously, level 90 familiars... Sorry, level 90 heroes. Generally speaking, you can't upgrade your hero if, you're, if your player level isn't the same, right? You have to be level 60 to upgrade your heroes to level 60. So if they're going to be working on some kind of hero level update. That means there's going to be a player level update. 
But if there's a player level update, then surely that means we're probably going to get like some more talent points. So does this mean that they're going to be actually finally after eight years doing a more comprehensive talent tree? I'm going to be honest with you. This needs updating. I hope they do. I want to see something comprehend. I want to see something much better than this in here. This is so basic for a talent tree. I ain't saying I want to see like a POE talent tree in here. Fuck that right <laughs> but i definitely want to see something a bit more complex than this it would be nice to have some different options in here and different different bit different things different things to do i'd like to see some new i'd like to see this fully updated i'd like to see a brand new talent tree that would be so cool i don't know though i mean and also vip I mean, maybe, maybe take that up to VIP 20 and give us some new VIP options or something. That'd be pretty cool as well. I don't know. I'd like to see a VIP shop. If you don't update the VIP, if you leave the VIP at level 15, at least put like a VIP shop in here and refresh the shop daily with new items and then use excess VIP points to come in here and actually buy things like speed ups, resources or whatever, or whatever your items you want to put in there. Maybe something lucrative, who knows? But a VIP shop would be great. Loads of different games do VIP shops. I think it's a really good idea. And then what you can do is you can actually get some value out of, I ain't got it on this account, that you get some value out of the familiar that drops VIP points for you daily. You know, you can you build up your VIP points and go and get prizes and stuff. But I think that's a great idea. Why don't they do that? Yeah, VIP shop, huge. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it would be a great addition to Lords Mobile. A brand new update to the talent tree. New VIP shop. The heroes go up to level 90. Okay, I know why they're doing that. They're doing that because they want people to have bigger coalition sizes. That's basically what that's going to come down to. That's why the prizes are coming from so far. Chalice. Probably Baron as well. An Emperor. It's because it's going to increase your coalition size because when you increase the level of your hero that sorry the rank sorry when you increase the rank of your hero that has an effect on the command so the max command per hero is ten thousand at rank eight rank nine might double it it might triple it it might quadruple it who knows what they're going to do with it but it's going to add more troops to the command, which means when you use those heroes, those rank nine heroes in a rally or a solo march, it's going to increase the amount of troops that you can send. It's going to be vital for wonder leads. You're going to need it, man. Honestly, I mean, it depends, I guess, on how many troops extra you do get. But for example, if they tripled it, if they put it at 30,000, that'd be 20,000 extra troops per hero. Five heroes, that's an extra 100,000 troops. It's not a major amount, a hundred thousand, but I mean, hey, a hundred thousand troops is a hundred thousand troops. You're gonna want it in your wonder march. So, yeah, like it's gonna make a huge difference for wonders if they if they and that's that that's if it's thirty thousand. If it's any more than that, then damn, they're gonna be vital. You're definitely gonna need them. So I don't know. And that's and that's on the heroes. But then if you're going to level ninety on heroes, then does that mean familiars are also gonna go up to level ninety? Because familiars follow the player level. So does that mean familiars are also going to go to level 90? And let's not even talk about the discussion of gear. Because gear is all level 60 gear. What are they gonna, what's going to happen with the gear? Is there going to be new gear sets at level 90? Are we going to have to upgrade our current gear to level 90? I mean... And that worries me. That's the bit there that worries me. Heroes? Okay, new ranks. Okay, whatever. Okay familiars okay talent tree player level okay but when you start talking about the gear when you start talking about my champ gear that i've put all my astrolite on and everything mythic and mythic champ gear with astrolite that worries me is the gear going to stay the same or is it going to have to be upgraded if it's going to be upgraded what the frick is that going to be involved with that and that worries me. That That's the bit there that worries me. I am worried about that. That's my only concern right now. 
the rest of it i'm not really too worried about at the moment i think the game needs an update in that around that to be honest with you. it's been long long enough now the gear is what's worrying me guys the gear is what's worrying me i'm worried about the gear listen you guys are talking about mythic heroes i'm telling you now if they upgrade these heroes that require more medals like a lot more medals i'm done um, I'm sorry. There's no way. There's no way I'm taking all of my army heroes and all of my spear heroes. And dare I say, my 11k 11k Dark Magister that's almost gold. If you think I'm going out and getting and, and Chronicler and all of my coalition heroes I'd need to level up. If you think I'm going to level up all my heroes again with all new hero medals, I nah. Nah, 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 nah. There's no way that that will kill the game, guys. That will kill the game. That will kill the game. That will literally kill the game. There's no way. There's no way, guys. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Listen, if they, there's no way they're gonna do that. There's no way they're going to do that. No, 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 no. Then they're not that dumb. Guys, IGG are annoying, but they're not that dumb to do that. There's no way they're doing that. Mythic Heroes isn't going to be a thing. No, 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 no. That's that there's no way, guys. I can't even get behind that. There's no way they'd even think about doing that. Mm -mm. I can't see that to be honest with you. That's that's got to be a no. Can you imagine though if they did that? That would be insane. Like, how many medals would it be? I'm, I'm just talking theoretically. I don't even want to ever see this. But can you imagine how many it would be? It's 100 to get to purple. 150 to get to gold. So what would it be? 200 medals to get to mythic. 200. Can you imagine that? Bro, if I logged into this game and there was an update and it was IGG saying, Hi! Well... Hi! Welcome to your new Lord's Mobile update. Today, we have the pleasure of bringing you Mythic Heroes. All you gotta do is buy some packs and get an extra 200 medals on all of your heroes all over again just to get them up to Mythic. Have fun. You know what? I would uninstall the game. I would uninstall the game. I would boot up a live stream and say, guys, Lords Mobile is dead. That would be the that would be the title of the stream. And I would actually uninstall the game live on stream. I shit you not. I would bring up my Steam. I would uninstall it live on stream. I would be done. I swear to God, man, if they did that, I would be done. I would stream it and I'm I'm hold hold me to it guys because I will be done if they do that. There's no way, bro. There's no way I would it, that I would be done. I and I think so many other players would be done. So many Lords Mobile players would quit. They will literally kill the game if they did that. I would be done. I wouldn't spend another penny on this game. I would uninstall it. I would kill all my troops. I would uninstall the game. Actually, I wouldn't kill all my troops. I would pull to a war kingdom, sit at the base, put my full champ gear on, all my talents and everything, and then put a, put a 14 day anti-scout on, and then uninstall. And then they can just kill all their troops trying to zero me. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. They can zero me, but they'll have to, they'll have to fight my castle to do it. I'll have it in champ gear and everything, fully geared up and everything, and they can, uh, they can go ahead and fight me and zero me out and kill all their troops rallying me use all their lunite up and shit that's what i would do oh yeah a hundred percent 150 percent that's exactly what will happen i make them earn it oh yeah hell yeah bro i'd make them earn it austin hell yeah but yeah i would quit i would quit lords if they did that i'm sorry i'd be done there's no way there's no way i'm gonna go and buy all those hero packs again and upgrade all my heroes again there's no Guys, IGG makes some really dodgy decisions. I mean, we can both all, all agree on this. And especially of late with all of the constant RNG events, leader skins tucked behind ranking events, which are just ridiculous. You know, they, they, they've been making some really dodgy decisions. 
you know not really fully listening to the community making half changes but not really properly listening i don't know what's going on over there at the moment it's just weird right but if they ever did that and look don't get me wrong i'm up for an update <laughs> i hope they update the talent tree i want to see a talent tree update it's, it hasn't been updated since the beginning of the game I lost again it hasn't been updated since the beginning of the game so i'd love to see a talent tree update for sure um if they do a hero update i mean look at the end of the day right a hero update isn't needed level 90 heroes with extra marches with more troops i mean it's an update that we don't need you know what i mean but if they want to do it to try and get people to play more baron and chalice i get why they would do it they want to try and make people play more baron and chalice because that's where they make their money at those events more people that play those events the more people more money they earn so that's why they would probably do that to try and bait you into playing more baron and chalice right from a business perspective, I, I get why they would do that. Up upgrading the heroes is one thing. Upgrading the talent tree is desperately needed. It hasn't been done in eight, in eight years. As far as the heroes go, though, upgrading the grade from gold? No, 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 no. It's not going to happen, guys. It's not going to. I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. It would be awful. It would kill the game overnight. I'm not even going to stress out about it because I know it won't happen. They're not dumb. Besides, besides, guys, gold is the highest bracket. You see, look. Oh, I can't show you here. Let me go into my other account in a sec. I'm just trying to finish off my dailies. Train troops in the barracks. Okay, let me, let me train some infantry. There we go. Is this done now? There we go. All right, cool. Two day shield. Dailies are done. Everything's done. Nice. I can log off out of here. Oh, I need to use my energy. Let me use my energy quickly. Oh, I got to do my check on my main. Yeah, I don't think they're dumb enough to do something like that. That would be such a dumb move, man. I I would quit. I wouldn't play. I'd be. I'd go play something. You know what? I'd go play. So I'd go. I'd go play something else. I would. I wouldn't play the game if they did that. Nah, gold frames is the highest it goes. If you look at the tier 5, tier 5 have gold frames. Tier 4 have purple frames. The heroes have gold frames. The familiars have purple frames. Familiars have purple frames. So I think there could be a familiar update, some new familiars that have gold frames. T, T, uh, T, uh, what's it called? Not pack pack five B, I guess. Pack five B or pack six familiars. And they'll have uh they'll have gold frames. They've got the hero, they've got they've got the monsters to do it. They've got the monsters to do it. Oh, they haven't got familiars for Hoot Claw, Gorilla. There's loads of different monsters they could use for the for the familiars. There's even three there's even three familiars that don't even have hero army skills yet. Like there's lots of things they can do with familiars. Uh, right, okay, let me go ahead and log out of here. And let me log in here. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. All right. Yeah, can you imagine I have to do all those hero medals again, man? That would suck, man. That would be so lame. Like, imagine having to do all these heroes again. It ain't just a few heroes, guys. We're talking about all these passive ones as well. <laughs> Wave Crasher, Shield Maiden. That's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not so much. Wouldn't need to stress out about it. Well, yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. These are the ones I use. 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 sometimes 26 no, 27 28 29 i'm not even counting the rest bro i ain't leveling up no 30 plus heroes all over again just because they want to do some dumbass mythic update i don't think so i'll be done 
Man, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine though? It would it would be just about right, wouldn't it? It would be just about right. Just as I'm about to get my 11k to gold, they bring out some fucking update that makes me gotta get more medals. No, I don't think so. I'll be uninstalling the game, mate. The day the day that fucking happens, I'll be done. There's no way. I don't have too much of a big issue with them doing the ranks. Like, don't get me wrong. The the rank the ranks of the heroes is still gonna kind of suck because. Well, it depends. Like, is Bar is Baron and Chalice gonna be? Well, I don't know about Baron, but is Chalice gonna be the only place I can get these trophies to level up my hero? Do you know what I mean? Or is like, can can you do this from Baron and Chalice? Or is there gonna be other ways of getting these trophies? Like, is it just gonna be through Baron and Chalice? Probably, but I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe. No, I'm not doing him today. We're so, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish it soon, but not not yet. I'm not ready yet. I'll finish it soon though. Don't worry. I've got I'm going on vacation in May, so I'm saving money for that, mate. That's why I can't buy loads of Dark Magister right now. Maybe when I get back from vacation, we'll finish it off. Yeah. It's almost there, man. How many medals I got now? 109 out of 150. <laughs> I'm 41 medals away from getting it done. It's close. It's close. I've been working on it for like a year, year and a half, man. Taking ages to do that thing. Bloody expensive, man. Too expensive. Way too expensive. How am I doing on this uh, race car thing? 740. Did I hit the monster today? I think I did it this morning, didn't I? I done it when I was in. I was laying in bed playing Lords this morning. Hi, Sasha. Did I already do it? Yeah, I've already done it. There's a monster in front of me. I'm going to kill that. I don't know whose monster that was. Dead now though. Alright. One day, 15 hours. <sighs> Prince, think about it. It won't just be Chalice and Baron. They will update hero chapters so we can grind them again. I wouldn't I won't I wouldn't mind that though. I would like that. I mean, it would be when when was they haven't they IGG haven't updated the hero chapters for eight years. For eight years, this hero chapters has been the same. They have not touched this in eight years. I remember they added challenge stages, as you can see. I I I I I, I don't really care about this. <laughs> Actually. Actually, these are actually quite difficult. <laughs> They're actually quite... Have you ever tried doing these? They're actually quite... You get gems for doing it, you know. How many of you have actually completed the challenge on this? Is there anyone in the chat that's actually done the challenges on this? Yo, challenge mode is a bit of a bitch. I, honestly, I've done the first few and then I was like, you get like 50 gems or something. I was like, I can't be asked with this, man. 50 gems, 100 gems. I don't care about 100 gems. You're on like stage three. It is, everyone says it's too tough. It is tough. Should we use some of the should we use some of the new pay to play heroes? I'm sure these new pay to play heroes will kick ass. Yeah, let's 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 use the new tank. We'll use the new tank. We'll use oh, salt. Look, we're gonna we're gonna use this guy. We'll use the magic girl. And who else should we chuck in there? Low weaver for the hills, of course. And we need a good range, something good to go at the back. Uh, Grove Guardians, pretty. Oh, no, no, only four heroes. Oh, shit. All right, go on then. Let's give it a go. We use all three 11Ks. They should be really good. They really have used them, shouldn't they? Oh, let's see what happens. We're using the new heroes on the challenge stages. If you just joined the stream, smash the like button. We're here to just play the challenge. I'm just, I'm just jumping on the challenge stages. Yeah, I know. Challenge stages. No one ever does these. Just going to see. I'm just curious if it can be, if we get through it or not. No, not Mythic Jewels either, bro. Hell no. 
That ultimate actually ain't too bad, actually, to be honest with you. That's a massive stun. And a knockback as well. Oh no, Bombing Goblin. Guys, I always feel like Prima Donna is a better healer than Law Weaver inside these hero chapters. Do you guys ever realize, ever feel that way? The Prima Donna is a better healer in here than, than Law Weaver. Oh God almighty, what the f- This is going well. Okay, let me start again. This is more exciting than tile hitting. Well, I thought you might enjoy this, you know. All right, so this is a shit team. Let's go with a different team. Um, she's faster, isn't she? I'm going to go with Prima Donna. Pixie's going to kick some... You know what? I'm going with a free-to-play. It's, it's free to play this up, baby. Trickster's amazing in here. And, and uh, this one's really good as well. All right, look, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna go with the old free-to-play lineup. You know, free-to-play for the win? Maybe? I think it could be free-to-play for the win here, guys. Let's check it out. I'll use all the 11Ks and the mana healer in a minute and see what I see how they get on. They'll probably get clapped. Yo, Trickster, let's go, Trickster. Oh, 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 oh. Stun him. Now give me the heal. There you go. Boom. And then Tracker! Boom! Oh, Tracker's so good at these. Tracker's so good. Tracker is so good at these. Oh, it's, it's just, she's just that 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 ultimate is so good. Where are we going? Yo, Bunny's gonna get clapped in here. Bunny's gonna die. Bunny's literally gonna die. And Bunny's dead. There you go. See, the tank can't survive. Maybe you need another healer, like two healers. And look, now nah, she's dead. Fuck me. These these challenge stages are not easy. They're not easy at all. All right, so let's think about this for a second. Mm, all right, so let's go with let's go with Bunny. Let's go with. I need another healer. So we'll go with Lord. Oh wait, you want me to do? Oh, you want me to do the healer and the free eleven Ks? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's Where's Pixie gone? There she is. All right, so the Pixie and then all the eleven Ks. I mean, the 11Ks, I mean, guys, we've got nearly a thousand dollars worth of heroes here because they've got to be unlocked to get them. They're 300 bucks to unlock them. So with a thousand dollars of heroes, we should win instantly. Like straight up, how are we going to lose with a thousand dollars worth of heroes on the, on the field? You know, it's just not going to happen. Yep. I need a heal. Need a heal. Oh, clutch heal. That was a shit heal though. Alright. Okay. Alright, we got past the first level. But are they going to get past this one? <laughs> no, I doubt it. Now, nope, Shapeshifter's going to get slammed. Yep. Bye bye, Shapeshifter. Honestly, I feel like it was $1,000 well spent. Ooh. Yo, that ultimate that Lightweaver's got is actually kind of good. I'm just saying that 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 thing's kind of gnarly. Oh shit. Yeah, hit 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 her because then she procs quicker. Yeah, Lightweaver's ultimate is actually kind of good. I like we Lightweaver's ultimate. I think Lightweaver's got the better ultimate out of them. Uh oh. Ooh, clutch heal. Oh no. Kill that thing. Oh shit. My, my pixie just died. I'm taking you with me, bitch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I took Goblin, I took Bobbing Goblin with me. Okay, so as you can see, the 11Ks do great in Hero Chapters. They're really, really good in Hero Chapters. All right, okay, so what we need to do here is use two healers. So let's try and do Law Weaver and Bunny. Hang on. And then what we'll do is we'll go with two tanks. I'm going to go with Rose Knight and Bunny. Let's try this. 
I just need heals, like, especially on that second level when they start coming forward like that. I need some heals. Yeah, there's different trials when you finish the map. Bronze, silver, and gold. Yeah, I know. I've done it on Housler, but I didn't do it on my main account here. On Housler, I've got all of Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 open. I've got gold medals on Chapter 1. Yeah, I know. I did play it a little bit on Housler, and I couldn't be asked to do it on this account, so I didn't bother. Right, so now I've got a couple of hills waiting. Look, see? Just let them take the damage down. All right, this is nice. I'm going to save the ultimates. Good, good. Yeah, Rose Knight just healed uh, Bunny. All right, this is, this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. It's not bad. We're at full life going into the next one. Nice. All right, cool. All right, now what we'll do is we'll go forward and we will stun. Boom. And then use Rose Knight's ultimate. And then I've got the heal ready when they start pushing forward. Here they come. All right, so they're going to hit on Rose Knight to begin with. Big heal. Here it comes. Boom. And then we're going to stun him again. And then Rose Knight. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, get ready because it's going to do his ultimate in a minute. There he comes. And then going to do a big heal. There we go. Survived it just. Need to stun him so Law Weaver doesn't get killed. <laughs> ah, nice heal. Chuck another heal in. There we go. And we're good for this third stage. Alright, we've got the heal ready for Pixie. They're probably going to need it in a sec. Uh, let's go with Rose Knight to start with. Get ready with that heal, that, that next stun. Here it comes. Big stun. Nice. Both heals are ready. Here comes the little cocksucker behind me. Let's stun him. Nice heal. Going to do another heal. another hill I'm gonna stun this guy again oh shit oh you son of a bitch okay okay yep well this fucking cocksucker okay here we go <laughs> oh you fuck sake Okay, well, honestly, I thought that was going pretty well. Okay. Prince, how good do you think a skin with Zilla and Kong would look? Yeah, it'll look great, but it's going to be behind a two grand paywall. So, I mean, don't get too excited. Uh, hmm. Any other ideas on teams? I just don't think... I needed the, I needed the two hills for sure. I wouldn't have done that without the two hills. Maybe Bunny's the wrong choice. It was close, wasn't it? It was close. Rose, two healers and a damage dealer. Okay, take that off and we'll go with Black Crow. Black Crow's a damage... Oh, no, no, Tracker. Tracker. Tracker's more of a damage dealer. Yeah, Tracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two tanks, heals and damage. Okay, damage is Tracker. We've got two heals and Rose. Here we go. Let's try this out. Oh, we're doing challenge stages. <laughs> trying anyway well, I'm not going to use my ultimates I'm going to save them I can do this level without ultimates this, this first level is easy yeah demon slayers are good like, but he, he gets involved and then he gets killed alright they're all dead that's good alright moving on to stage 2 here we go Right, we're going to hit this little cocksucker over the back. Mm. And then we're going to chuck a bloody fr frisbee at him. We're going to chuck a quick healing as well. He ain't dead yet. Watch out for the ultimate. Here he comes. Okay. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. 
Right, save, save the ultimate, save the ultimate, save the ultimates. Don't use them, don't use them. Heal, 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 heal yourself. Law Weaver, do something, throw a butterfly at her. There we go. All right, okay, this is the third stage. We're going in Vore ultimates. Here we go. Right, I'm going to start off. I'm going to use my, I'm going to, I'm going to save Tracker. I'm not going to use Tracker. I'm saving Tracker for that little twat that's going to appear behind us in a minute. Okay, so we're going to use Rose Knight to start. Rose Knight does the damage over there. Tracker can kill the guy behind us. All right, heals are good, heals are good. Heals are good. All right, heals are good. Oh, here we go. Rose Knight again. Right, here comes the cocksucker. Right. Mm, in the face. Yeah, loving that. Oh, quick heal. Nice. All right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. That's it. Focus, focus, focus. Here we go. Wait till he does. Oh, no, 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 no. I need some another heal. Oh, my God. Tracker. Fire. That's another one down. Two left. It's looking good. It's looking good. The last guy. The last one. 53 seconds on the clock. We're looking good, guys. Just got to kill this big thing. Rose Knight. Mm. I need Tracker. I need Tracker to prop. Here he is. You're dead. Oh, wait, I ain't killed him. Quick heal. He's about to go down, though. There it is. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we did it. Fifth. 50 gems. The, the effort was worth it. We, we got 50 gems, guys. That's the rewards you get from IGG. <laughs> 50 gems. Holy shit. Okay, so we're on to Incinerator. All right, here we go. So we can use we can use five heroes for him. All right, so we're going we're gonna to stick with... Do we stick with this team with the two healers? I think this is kind of hog, the two healers, right? All right, so I think we should bring in another damage dealer. Hmm. All right, who can we bring in that does a shit ton of damage? Um, I mean, Black Crow will debuff. She's always pretty good in, in, in hero stages. Or we could bring in uh, Petite for another big stun. Uh, or Witch Doll even for another big stun. Witch Doll's pretty solid. Add Light Weaver. We need to bring Light Weaver in. Okay, Light Weaver. If they want Light Weaver, I'll bring Light Weaver in. Okay, here we go. Alright. Petite better, she stuns. Well, yeah, that's true. Light Weaver's ultimate is kind of good as well, though. To be fair. Alright, so the, the, the first stage again ain't too bad. We're smashing these guys. Like, Light Weaver's got some ability. It's making everybody glow. I don't know what that is. What is all this thing? They're all lighting up. Well, what the hell is that? I don't know what she's doing. I need to go read her passive skills. I don't know what she does. She's doing something. You're saying Light Weaver's the best Colosseum hero? Really? Oh, I'm going to use her ultimate. Here we go. Boom. Yo, that's actually pretty good. That's like Rose Knight's shield. Oh, nice. No, the cocksucker. He's back. Fuck. Kill him. Holy shit. I should have saved. I didn't realize he was coming back. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. All right, okay, we're good. All right, so we've got all of our ultimates. We need to make sure we take out uh, Incinerator because her damage is going to be insane. All right, chuck that Frisbee at her. Knock her out. There we go. Now chuck that Ball of Light at her. There you go. Have that. Oof. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. He killed my Rose Knight. Have this. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you actually kidding me right now? Oh, it's just dropped an asteroid on my head and it just destroyed me. To be honest, if your Light Weaver's kind of good, man. She was actually quite good. Hmm. But I need someone that can do real good targeted damage. I need like single target damage. Like boom. Have that. Who's got really good, like a really good ultimate for single time? I mean, other than Tracker. Hmm. You know what? I might go with Twilight Priestess. This could be like little hidden gem here. Wait, 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 wait. Charles, Twilight Priestess could be really good here. Like she'll go over the back and start messing them up. Like she will die over the back and go straight after Incinerator. Like she could be pretty good, you know. Yeah, Dream Witch could be good too. 
I'm not going to sleep on uh, on Twilight Priestess here. She could be quite good, you know. Twilight Priestess is actually really good in Colo and in Hero Chapters. But she just jumps to the back and starts messing people up. And our ultimate's really good. I'm not using it yet. So she just landed on that guy and smashed him to pieces. There we go. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to use her ultimate now. On that one. Nice. Quick heal. Like she just melted that thing over there at the back with Roll Muller. He's dead almost. He's dead now. I'm going to use a tracker to finish him off. Bye. Oh no, I forgot the coxer. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot about this little twat. Right, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Are right, we good? Okay, so I need to... I need to try and stun her when... Like, let me just throw this at her quickly. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm going to have to throw this because she's going to die. She's not... Oh my god, I shouldn't have wasted it. I ain't got a heal when she's going to use her asteroid. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, one died. One died. It's not the end of the world. Oh shit, they're all dead. I lost two. Oh, you asshole. Okay. All right. Maybe try like to fly a priestess wasn't the one. Okay. All right. Who do we use? Who do we use, chat? Petite devil for stun damage. Okay. Petite devil. I think she's going to get crushed, but we'll do it. Okay. Petite. We'll bring Petite in. We'll bring Petite in. <laughs> Bloody challenge stages. If you're just tuning in, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to smash the like button, guys. We are 156 likes. Can we get to 200? That would be pretty cool. If you haven't pressed the like button, hit it, because it does heal the stream out an absolute bunch. Um, so I would appreciate that, guys. And uh, Bunny, Shade, Big Guy, lots of different options there. Okay, I'll have a look in a sec if we lose it. But what you're tuning into right now is peak Lords Mobile content. We're in the challenge arena, doing the challenge stages, ladies and gents. It doesn't get much more intense than this. So let's get it. Here we go. Level two. Here we go. All right. So. I'm going to use Rose Knight. Here we go. Dum, 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 dum. Nice. Good, good, good. Da Here comes the dick. Here comes the little cocksucker. All right. Let's, let's hit him. Eat that. All right. Is he, he's going to die. Tracker's going to kill him. Yep. Tracker kills him. Nice. He's just gone. He didn't even, he didn't even exist. He just appeared and then disappeared. All right, good. We're good. We need a heal on uh, Rose Knight. Come on, Law Weaver. Law Weaver, use the bunnies. Or don't. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start off with Rose Knight with the, with the shield. And I need to use a heal because Rose Knight's getting clapped immediately. Now I'm going to I'm gonna use Tracker and hit Incinerator. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take out one of these big boys at the front because they're picking on Rose Knight. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to... I'm going to... Are you actually shitting me right now? <sighs> nah, stun. Block the asteroid. Beautiful stun. It was a beautiful stun. But I've lost my tank, so I'm kind of screwed here. Oh my god, there's reinforcements. Oh, now my, my healer's dead. That's awesome. Okay, so not only do you have to deal with that at the front, there's also reinforcements at the back. I feel like this is a good team, though. We can do this. You're doing it wrong. You should use Oracle to win. Why? Because she's a good healer. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dude, big guy goes in front and hits everyone. All right, we can try big guy after this one. All right. Okay. Come on. Demon, Scarlet Bolt, Rose, and Healer for the win. You can that's that's four. You can use five heroes in here. Alright, we're gonna get this little goblin go, goblin goblin coming behind me, aren't we? So let's just use Rose Knight here. Here comes Bomb and Goblin. Eat this guy. Mm, eat that. Alright, nice. He's dead. Now we can just work on getting our ultimates back up. I 
I feel like we just, just go in there and do a stun straight away. Just stun these guys off the bat so I don't take damage. Boom, big stun. And then we chuck this thing in. Boom, 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 boom. Big damage, big damage. Love that. Love that. Mm. And now I can go chuck this, this at her. Smack, have that. Big heal for Rose Knight. Boom. Another big heal for Rose Knight. Boom. Gonna chuck this at her. And a big stun as well. Boom. I need a heal. I need a heal. I need a heal. Kill Incinerator, please. Oh, what a clutch hit from Tracker. Right, right, Rose Knight's gone down. Rose Knight's gone down, but that's okay. That's okay. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, Rose Knight's gone down, but it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got... Oh, the clutch. Yo, she was about to drop an asteroid onto my head. And Tracker, with the ultimate, killed her. Just as she was about to go up and do the do the asteroid thing. That was that was kind of clutch. That's what won it for me there was Tracker coming in clutch at the end. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. We got the 50 gems, ladies and gentlemen. And we are on to the next stage. We've got three to do. And actually, there's another three after this, I think. Uh, but that's okay. Yo, there it is. Wow. 50 more gems. Now you can go to Baron. Tell me about it, bro. We're on our way, guys. Use big time. Use big guy. Okay, I can't use... You want me to use big guy? Okay, we'll take petite out. Big guy going in. Big guy, Rose, and the two healers. We go with one healer now and see if we can pull back to one healer. Because uh, I kind of still want to use um, petite, to be honest with you. I really like that stun she's got. It's really good. Uh, so maybe we go petite for the stun. Big guy, a big guy for damage. Rose Knight for the tank as well. And then we've got petite little one at the back. I think that'll be a good team. Best content you've ever seen. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Kane. I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, smash the like button, guys. Okay, here we go. 100% win rate for Dream Witch, Petite, Rose, and Law. Okay, we'll do that team after this one if it doesn't win. Okay, here we go. We got, we're going up against Watcher. Oh, shit. Spin, 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 spin. There it is. Look at this. Heal. All right, we got the heal. Nice. Okay, that was pretty good damage. I'm going to bounce this shield off both of them. Do -do 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 -do. Look at that. Insta-kill. Just got to deal with Watcher now. Okay, he's going down. And he's dead just before he ultimates. Nice. Uh, chapter 1. All right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and do a stun. And then we're going to spin into all the big boys at the back. There we go. Nice. Chuck the Rose Knight shield in. There it is. Good damage. Heal's ready and waiting. I'm going to need it in a minute. Mm, now. Oh, no. Ro Rose Knight healed him. Waste of a heal. Waste of a heal. Okay, never mind. It happens. All right. We're going to save the, save the ultimates. Save the ultimates. Save the ultimates. There we go. All right, nice. The boss has appeared. It's Child of Light. Oh, shit. It's Child of Light. Okay, big stun. And then big guy. With a spinny spinny. Nice. Gonna wait for Child of Light to do his ultimate. I'm gonna stun him. Big heal. There it goes. I stun him. Oh, I didn't do it in time. Oh shit. Oh no, I tried to, I tried, I didn't hit him in time with the frisbee. Quick, 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 stun him. Oh my goodness gracious. It all went wrong. Okay, I've got a heal ready. I need Rose Knight to ult eat. Oh! Okay, she ultimated. I killed the two dudes, but this little, this little bastard still shielded. Come on. No, no, no. I need to, a nice, nice, nice. That was a really good uh, heal there. Quick, quick, quick. Oh! Stun him. Oh my god, it's, it's it's on a knife edge. We're on a knife edge right here, guys. We're literally on a knife edge right now. I need a heal. I need a heal so bad. Oh my god, there it is. Massive, massive. That was huge. That was huge for us. Oh no, Rose Knight's gonna get hurt. There's one dude left. No! It's down to these two. The two girls. Can they finish it off? It's Petite Devil and, and, and Pixie. Come on, guys. Keep hitting him. Stun him, stun him, stun him, stun him, stun him. Come on, stun him. Oh my god, he's... Come on. 
Hey, 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 15 seconds. You got it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Look, guys, are you not entertained? 50 gems. Let's get it. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, on to the next level. On to the next level. Here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Bro's going pro in hero stages. <laughs> I told you big guy would get it. Okay, okay. What was the other team that we got that Sid put up earlier? Hang on a minute. Sid posted a team. Hang on. What was the team? Dream Witch. He says 100% win rate. Okay, let's check it out. Dream Witch. Petite. Rose and Law. Okay. He doesn't want to use Pixie. He wants to use Law. This is, this is a guaranteed win, Sid says. We're going to wait and see. Here we go. Here we go. Taking on Scarlet Bolt. She's going to ulti. Oh, shit. Okay. Big, big issues here. We've got some big issues here. Stun that bitch. Okay. I need I need a heal. I need a heal. Okay. There's the heal. Oh, my God. Her poison arrow does so much damage to you in here. It's crazy. Okay. We've got Tracker. We've got Tracker. Oh, God. I need to stun these guys or Rose Knight's going to die. Okay, Rose Knight's back in action. We've got the stun for Rose Knight. We're going to save that for when Tracker gets ready to do a dodgy shit. Hold on. I'm going to do it now. I can't wait. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Petite's dead. Petite has died. We need to get another healing. We're going after her now, but I mean, it might be a little too late here. Oh, dear. We lost, we lost the big... Oh, shit. Oh! Okay, that was rough. That was hella rough. They're almost dead, though. Tracker's about to drop. Yeah, we got past stage two. I don't know if we're going to do stage three with three heroes, guys. It's looking pretty ropey right here. Okay, here we go. Let's try a big, big archer. We're going to go in with the uh, big boys at the back or the big boys at the front. Um, I guess we do the big boys at the front and try and kill these guys so we can get to the back ones. Here we go. Boom. Okay, here he goes. Nice big heal. Now we go with, with, with Rose Knight again. I've got to wait for the heal. Wait for the heal. Don't go yet. Now, here comes the heal. Boom. There's the heal. Okay, she takes a while to load up. So hopefully we don't take too much damage. Big heal from Rose Knight. Okay, now we go again with the with the, with the spinny thing. Spinny, spinny. Go with the go with the uh, Dream Witch attack. Oh, it's a big stun. It's a big stun. We just need to hold on. Can they hold on? Can the heroes hold on? Okay, here we go. Big, big spinny, spinny. There it is. Two left. Big heal. Oh, I wasted a heal. I didn't need it. Oh, shit. I wasted my heal. It was a big mistake. We got the spinny spinny coming. Let's go. And Dream Witch to finish off. I think I've done it. Dream Witch. Boom. That should finish it. I think we got it. I think we got it, guys. We got it. There it is. We done it. First try. Well done, Sid. Good choice. 50 gems. Oh my god. We get we're racking up gems here, guys. We are racking up gems. Here we go. Hey Prince, my kingdom's wow is supposed to start in the maintenance time. What will happen? It will just happen and nobody will win. Okay, let's go. We're on to Mythical Beast. We're up to Night Raven. Oh, we're, we're on this, man. We're going to stick with this team because this is the winning team. Here we go. Here we go. We're trying again here. Let's see. We're going up against this guy with the two swords. Okay, they're dying pretty quick. Um, got this big green guy. He looks a bit formidable. Dude at the back. I'm going to do some spinny spinny. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. I know, man. 50 gems. It's absolutely pog. We got through this first stage quite nicely. I got a feeling this is going to be one of those levels where the first stage is easy and then the last one's really difficult. I just feel like that's what it's going to be like. Here we go. We've got ourselves a turtle. I'm going to whack this thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a big, big stun right now. Boom. Oh, I see there's a mermaid, mermaid over the back. Let's whack that thing. Nice. Okay. Really good. Really good damage. Really good damage. Hopefully we don't take too much more. Let's use a spinny spinny. There it is. Nice, that's just killed everyone. Oh, beautiful. Rose Knight just wiped out the entire lot. Let's go. Okay, moving in to the third level. Here we go. Okay, okay, we've got a couple of shamans at the back. Healers. He's got healers. Oh, shit. Rose Knight just took a shit ton of damage. Okay, I need to do this and then quickly hit the heal. One, two, three, go. Okay, look at that. Look at that. He's, I, I know, guys. The reflex is like a cat. Okay, here we go. Boom. Nice heal. Now you spinny, spinny. And then big stun. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Now I have Rose Knight. I'm going to hit Night Raven with this. Bang! Straight in the face. And then he's going to try his ultimate. And oh! Okay, okay. I've got to be really quick here. Really quick, really quick. I've got to come over here, stun this guy, and I've got to hit the hill. Otherwise, I'm dead. One, two, three, go. Okay, there he is. And boom. There it is. And now spinny, spinny. Bang. And just like that, guys, you have just watched a professional kick some ass. I mean, how amazing is this? All right, let's go, baby. 50 gems. Oof. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. Okay, 115 done. Challenge stage 115 has been completed. All right, we've got these last three to do, and then chapter one's done. Here we go. <laughs> it's because of the spinny spinny. It is. Rose Knight spinny spinny is just insanely good. We're going to stick with this team. Yo, Sid, you got a good team here, bro. Sid's picked a good team, man. It hasn't lost yet. We're doing pretty good with this. This team is unbeaten. It's unbeaten right now, guys. Why am I doing challenges? Just to build up some gems, bro. And because they're because they're a challenge and there's nothing else to do in Lords at the moment. Okay, right. Hang on. I don't need to use an ultimate. This one's done. These guys are not even a problem. These guys are not even a problem. Yo, Ainsley coming in with the 1199 super chat. Thank you so much for the support, Ainsley. I really appreciate it. I'm assuming you're enjoying the content tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Let's kick it. All right, here we go. Boom. Big stun, big stun. Spinny, spinny. There it goes. Nice, nice. Work. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that, I can't need panic then. I, I panic. Uh, guys, it was a panic heal. It was a panic heal. I just hit the button because I saw a life go down. I literally just panicked. I panicked button press then. Um, I'm okay though. It's all good. It's good. We've got our almost ready. We're, we're looking good for stage three. Everything's looking good for stage three. Okay, here we go. All right, this is looking good. Okay, the big, 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 big stun. There we go. Boom. And then we're going to use the spinny spinny. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like that one bit. Okay, and before they hit, I'm going to go ahead and stun them. Bang! Look at that. Get that. Get back down on the ground, bitch. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this big heal in a minute. Here it comes. And oh, no, no. Now, here we go. Big heal. And then spinny, spinny. Look, he's, they're done. They're done. They're just so done. This was easy. This was easy. This was the easiest game I've ever played. Oh, my God. Smash that. Nice big stun. No problem. I can do this in my sleep. Bang. There it is. Nice big stun. He's going to wake up. I'm going to hit him with the spinny, spinny. Get him back stunned again. And we're going to go ahead and smack him up. Here we go. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. He's gone. There it is. Nice. Nice. Easy. Easy. 50 gems. Let's go, baby. All right, here we go. Next level. Oh, man. Two to go. And we get Black Crow in just a second. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for the Ws. I appreciate it. Here we go. Next round. Unbeaten so far. Come on now. Let's keep this unbeaten run going. It feels good to be unbeaten. We've turned it around completely with this team. Here we go. Okay, this is looking a bit rough. I'm not going to lie. This is a bit worrying. Okay, so let's smack this one. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I don't like these Archer guys. They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. But we're looking good here. All right. I think we got this first stage down. First stage is good. Okay, next stage. All right, here we go. Right, I'm going to start off with the spinny spinny. Here we go. <clears throat> F that. And then big stun from Petit. Bang. They didn't like that one bit. These three are these three swordsmen at the front. They're almost dead. We don't need to stun these guys. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. They pushed me back, but I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Kill that guy. There we go. Now go kill these dudes. These guys aren't even that strong. They don't even hit that hard. We don't even need to use a heal. We're healing automatically. Look, they're weak. Weak. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're done. Yeah, get out of here. Here we go. Right. Oh, this one's going to be tough. Okay, here we go. Big stun to start off with. Boom. And then we jump in with the spinny spinny. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to stun these guys again at the front. I don't want to get pushed back. Bang. Have that. Big stun from Dream Witch. Oh, shit. The reflexes are like a, like a panther. Let's get it. Big stun from Petite Devil. Bang. Puts him back on the back foot. We're getting ready with a spinny spinny in just a second. This big guy at the front's causing some big issues. I'm going to stun him out. There it is. And another big stun from Petite. Oh, my goodness gracious. These guys at the back are almost dead. You know what? I'm going to finish him. Get out of here. Dream Witch. Bosh. Oh, shit. Big stun. Oh, my God. That was a clutch heal. There it is. I think we got it. I think we got it. 
We got it. We got it. Big rose. Yeah, it is. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Woohoo. Free hero can do all. Yeah, man. The, 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 hero, the, the hero is good. The, the heroes are good. I get paid tomorrow, so me getting gear for World of Water tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, mate, I'm going to be doing some boosting on that too, I think, eventually. Just I'm just taking my time chilling at the moment, but I will probably start boosting on it. Okay, we can do another hero. Sid, who do we bring in as the fifth one? Who's the fifth hero that makes this team unbeatable? Who do we bring in, buddy? Give me the name. You've got the full selection to choose from. Add tracker. Okay, tracker going in. Damage. All right, here we go. We've added Tracker. This team was already strong. Now we just added Tracker to the mix. Oh, have the guys pop up. Okay, if they do, then we're going to smack them. Okay, we're going to go in with a spinny spinny to start with. And then we're going to go with a nice big... Oh, a nice big... Oh, look at that. It's bloody Shade. Get rid of this guy. Holy shit, he could wipe out my entire team. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. No, Shade's dead. Shade's dead. Don't panic. What are you panicking for? Easiest level ever. Just keep going. All right, I'm going to hold back Tracker. We're going to hold back Tracker. I'm going to stun these two little bitches at the front. Boom. There you go. They're down. Nice juicy stun there. And then we're going to use the spinny spinny. There it goes. Nice, nice, nice. Here comes the reinforcements. Oh my God, it's Barbarian. Big, big stun going in. And then Tracker's going to literally shoot an arrow straight into his face. Smack. Have that. Wiped out half his HP. It's absolute devastation for Barbarian. He's been... It, Barbarian would have done better, but he saw... It took one sight of Tracker's tits and just couldn't focus anymore. And he just got sidewinded by the arrow. That's all it was. Just, you know, that's the good thing about Tracker. She's got such big breasts. They act as like a distraction unit so that, you know, any enemies that attack her don't really see what's going on. They're just looking at the breasts. Okay, let's go. Next one. Here goes Black Crow. Here she comes. Spinny, spinny to start. Okay, nice. A bit, a bit of stunning going on there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The big boy's back. The big boy's back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a stun. And then we're going to use Tracker again on Shade. Oh, my goodness. Okay, big stun from Petite Devil. Boom. There it is. Shade's down. Oh, Barbarian's back. He's back for some more. He got an eye full of Tracker's tits and he wants to see it again. Holy shit. Oh, no. Rose Knight's died. Ah! It's all gone wrong. Okay, quickly. We need to quickly do something here. I'm going to stun Barbarian. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to use Petite Devil stun. Here we go. Oh, no. Petite Devil. No. Oh, man. It was going so well. Guys, the reinforcements were insane on that level at the back there. We had to deal with Shade and Barbarian. Come on. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, I healed the wrong hero. I, I, don't, I know, I know, I know. Uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were definitely made, man. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna do it this time, all right? All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do it this time. Holy shit! I wasn't expecting Barbarian to come back as well, man. Like Barbarian come back, and I was like, "What the fuck is this guy doing back here?" Like we just we just wiped this guy out. Okay, we're gonna wait. Do I use my ultimates here or do I wait? I think I just wait, all right? Oh fuck it! I use Spinny Spinny. Oh shit! I forgot about this guy. Oh no no no! Boom! And then a big stunt. There we go. That's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. She'll hit Rose Knight will heal herself. Rose Knight will heal us. There we go. There it is. See, look, I didn't need to use the heal. Just be patient. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, here we go. I gotta be careful of this of this thing at the back. I need to stun Black Crow, man. And I need to use the spinny spinny. Oh, you're shit. Oh my god. Rose Knight just got one tapped. Guys, that wasn't even my fault. Rose Knight got one tapped, man. Rose Knight got one tapped. Like, full on. Oh, shit. Oh, not. Oh, my God. I can't reach Black Crow. She's ultimating. <laughs> I saw the ultimate. I saw the shine up in the corner. Black Crow was ultimating, but I couldn't reach it. This is definitely the team to do it. Oh, we're struggling. We've hit a, we've hit a brick wall, guys. We're struggling a little bit. Snow Queen is one of the worst heroes for hero chapters. Like, don't get me wrong. Her ultimate is amazing, right? But as far as like, as far as like her ability to stay alive is just so awful. She gets clapped all the time. No, I know it can be done. I know it can be done. I know it's, I know it's the right team. Bro. I know you've got the right team here. It just, I believe in the team. 
I just don't believe him. It's a skill issue, man. That's all it is. It's a skill issue. Right, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for Shade. Wait for Shade. Here he comes. Not Shade. Barbarian. Right, now, now do this. There we go. Boom. Eat that. Right, here we go. They're going to kill that thing. Okay, then they'll go back and kill the archers. Nice. They're done. Right, here we go, boys and girls. Here we go. Ah, right. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to stun this lot. I'm going to fire back at this. I'm going to heal. I'm going to use tracker. And now I'm going to big stun now. Barbarians here. Boom! All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Build your armor up. Build your armor up. Build your armor up. Build your armor up. Please, 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 please. Okay, stun. Black Crow. Oh, that was a clutch stun. I'm going to hit this guy. Bang. There we go. Oh, shit. Shit. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> I just about done it. Oh my god. Okay, we did it, ladies and gents. Oh my god. 50 gems. I just about did it. <sighs> okay, well, I had one hero die. I had one hero die. We, we stage one is done, guys. We've completed stage one. Look, and now the now the things all appear. Look. Now all these things appear. And it says the first challenge is easy. Yo, I, you know what, Oracle, the more I talk, the more I see you in this game, the more I, I hate you. I actually hate you, Oracle. I hate you. I, I hate you. But they will get hard. How was that easy? I'm choosing. Oh, now they get the bronze trials. Look. Yeah, like, this is what happens, guys, once you complete a chapter. Did you guys know this? So like level one, level one, you do level one, right? That's level two. Is you gotta do that one first, the bronze. Then you gotta do silver. Then you gotta do gold, and you get higher rewards for doing the higher levels. So we're gonna try bronze on this one. And look at all these heroes that are locked. <laughs> oh no! They actually tell you what heroes you can and can't use. This is where it gets difficult because. They start locking, look, they've locked out Rose Knight, they've locked out Petite Devil, they've locked out these. Look at these. It's the age. Hey, shut up, bro. I ain't old. What are you talking about? Oh, I ain't old. Calling me old. The hell? Uh, <laughs> there isn't even a healer. Where's the healer? Where's my healer? Go full tank. We might have to go full tank. I've got no healer. We need HP. I haven't even got that many tanks. I guess we go the Chaos Dragon. That one. Man, I hate Chaos Dragon sucks. Uh, Prince. Let's go with Prince of Thieves. Prince of Thieves is pretty solid. Um, I'm not a 40. What are you chatting about? Uh, Tracker. I've got to go Tracker as well. Wait, Demon Slayer's here. Take this guy out for Demon Slayer. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Demon Slayer's good. The green lady. No, I don't want to use the green lady. Mm. There's no stuns, is there? Mm. Mm. I feel like we should go with Scar with the Scarlet Bowl. Let's go with no, not Scarlet Bowl. Uh, the Femme Fatale. Let's try this. Oh my god, it's Oracle. Yo, I'm not losing to Oracle. I'm gonna kill that bitch. Yo, mess her up. Mess her up. Kick her ass. Cut her up. Kill her. Yes! Yes! I just killed Oracle! Oh my goodness gracious, I just killed Oracle. How amazing is this? This game's awesome. I just killed Oracle. Eat that. I don't know what that little brown dude in the middle was, but I just killed him. I think he was a healer or something. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Nice, there you go. All right, Sage of Storms. All right, Sage of Storms. Here we go. Right, we're going to go bosh with that. Going to jump over with this. Oh, that didn't do nothing. That was awesome. Oh, shit. Uh, right, one of my heroes died. Um, and two of my heroes died. Okay, it's okay. Kill that thing. There we go. Um, need to do this. Come on, three of my heroes died. It's a bloody Rose Knight there. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, it's really clear. Oh, yes, there we go, boys and girls. Easy. Easiest game of my life. Let's go. And we got 50 gems again.
There it is. I, I didn't see the Rose Knight. I didn't see it. I didn't realize there was a Rose Knight there. Okay, cool. Look, we got the bronze medal. What happens here now? Look, look, look. The, pe the picture goes down. It comes back up. Look, and we get, a, we get a bronze frame. Look at that. How amazing is that? Look, we get a little bronze frame around it. Mmm. Bronze frame. I like it. Who said I'm 20? <laughs> I wish I was 20 again. I am actually 21. Yeah, that's right. I wish. Okay, silver. We're going to do silver. Let's go. Only three heroes this time. Oh my god. There must be a healer here, surely. Okay, we've got to use Rose Knight. There's no... There's no... Wait a minute. She's a healer, but she heals herself. She's selfish. Get her out. Uh, there's, there's no healer. How can I do this with no healer? Um. Okay, I gotta think. It's all tank. There's all tanks. It's, it's all tanks. That's all it is. It tanks. Tank. Who are the best tanks? Probably Bunny. Bunny's a good tank. You know, Don Guapo is a good tank as well. You know. Oh, we go with this big guy. We go with the big guy. We go with the hemorrhoid. He's a pretty good tank. Hmm. I should know what Berserker actually. Let's go Berserker. Berserker's got a really good ultimate. Oh my god, it's Oracle again. Wait, I gotta do the same level with th only three. I only just about done it with five. Oh shit. There's no way I'm doing this with three. There's no way I do this with three. See, that stun's really good. And now we can just go in with the spinny spinny. Boom, 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 boom. Wipe them all out. Look, laters, Oracle. You're about to get clapped. Here it comes. Laters. Oh, we killed her twice. All right, nice. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Child of Light stun. Bosh. There it is. Wait for the shields to go. Now go with the spinny spinny. And then a big berserker stun. Bang, eat that. See how good these stuns are? Two big stuns and a big heal. Uh, Rose Knight gives the heals, right? Come on. I don't want to use my ultimates again. I don't want to use my ultimates again. Come on, you can do this without the ultimates. Come on. There we go. Come on, Berserker. Smash him up. Let's go. Let's go. He's got that poxy shield up again. There we go. Nice. All right, now I've got to do this one. Has he got Rose? Oh, there's a Rose Knight here. Oh, God. Hit that thing. Right, I need to stun this thing, man. Big stun. Right, I'm going to go ahead and stun these guys over the back. Let's stop them from hitting me for a sec. Just while these guys deal with Rose. I didn't even, that didn't even last that long, though. Oh, shit. They're hitting me. They're hitting me. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Eat that. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, my God. She's still alive. No. Oh, this is never going to happen. This is this is ridiculous. Three heroes on this level. You're joking, right? Rose Knight. Suck a dick. Mm. Yeah, Rose Knight. Get oh, come on. It's Rose Knight versus Stage of Storms. Yo, you're so much stronger than this guy. This guy's shit. Come on. Come on. Back, kick his ass. He's so crap. Stage of Storms sucks. Come on, Rose Knight. I believe in you, Rose Knight. If you lose to this guy, you're so shit. You're so shit if you lose to this guy. Oh, my God. You need to heal. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rose Knight versus Stage of Storms. We're tuning in live. It's Rose Knight versus Sage of Storms. Is the Bearded Horseman going to win or is Rose Knight going to take the victory? Let's find out, guys. Oh, and the Bearded Horseman gets clapped and Rose Knight wins it for the, ch for the championship. 75 gems has been won. Oh, my goodness gracious. We did it with three heroes, ladies and gents. And we got the silver. The silver has been achieved. There it is, guys. Silver on level one. <laughs> it was close it was very close okay what we're going for gold we're going for gold guys we're going for gold okay here we go we're going for the gold the sparring session we're back on this again heroes can only be int heroes can only use a maximum of four okay let's see if we can do it on gold with four heroes we have access to I don't have access to Rose Knight. No, they've took my Rose Knight. Okay. Okay, they've took my Rose Knight. It is what it is, guys. We just have to do it without Rose Knight. 
Um, okay, Dark Follow is a good healer. But, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying he's a good healer, but he is a healer. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We need this. And we go Dark Follower. Two healers. Yeah, two healers. I think Dark Follower would be good for a heal. I prefer his healing over Sea Squire. And then we need a tank. Uh, I, who am I going to put in the front? Uh, I mean, Dark Matt. No, he's not a tank. We've got to use Petite. Petite has to go in. We're going to need to stun. Necroduke. What about Necroduke? Necroduke could do it, couldn't he? Could that, could that be the tank? We go with Necro? Or Necroduke or Stormfox? We, it's either going to be Necroduke or Stormfox. Because, um, I mean, Sage of Storms, I mean, I don't know about Sage of Storms, man. You think Stormfox, yeah? Stormfox. All right, I'm going to go with this. This is the team. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can do it. I can't use Law Weaver. Okay, here we go. We've got two healers. Uh, Dark Followers healer heal is automatic. I don't need to actually proc it. Okay, this is looking a bit ropey. Uh, I've just used an ultimate. I didn't really want to do that. I need to heal really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the, the front hero is going to get hurt because they're not really a tank. But we did kill Oracle. Of course we killed Oracle. She sucks. Okay, here we go. Next level. All right, so we're going to go in with a stun straight away. This one's going to be tricky. Here we go. Big stun. Wait for the shield to drop. And then we're going to go in with Dark Follower. Boom! Oh, Dark Follower just wiped out all the range units. The range units just got abs... These guys just got absolutely melted. I wish I could see an instant replay of that. Dark Follower just wiped all the back line. Holy crap. Okay, here we go. We're going in now. We got the Rose Knight coming in. We're going to use Storm Fox. I don't know what this ultimate does. I have no idea, but we're using it nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and use this ultimate, and I'm going to use it on Rose Knight. She's going to cause so many issues here. Bang. We're going to use it on Rose Knight. Now I'm going to do a big heal, and then I'm going to chuck a big stun in. Bosh! Now, hopefully they can take out Rose Knight before this stun finishes. They do, and this guy's gone. There's only two heroes standing. It's looking really good right now, guys, for the gold medal. It's just Stage of Storms remaining. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. And all four heroes, all four heroes have made it to the final finale. We have 100 gems. Holy shit. One, the generosity from IGG is on another level tonight. 100 gems, guys, for getting the gold medal on the first level. There it is. Boom. We have achieved gold, guys. We are the best we have completed it guys gold medal there it is guys gold medal massive dubs massive dubs oh my goodness gracious can you imagine somebody coming into this stream that's never seen this before and sees that gold badge and be like <gasps> actually i need to tell people sorry chat if you're just joining the stream right now i have some bad news there's new heroes have just been released into Lords Mobile. I'm just beta testing it. It's coming out tomorrow. It costs $26,000 to get new gold winged frames on your heroes. And it increases the hero stats by 100%. And I'm doing the new challenge stages right now. And they're really difficult. But, you know, the reward's worth it because you get 100% extra attack. Your heroes are going to look pog. I know it's bad news. I'm really sorry to tell you this, guys. It is what it is. But as you can see, only the winners will win. So, and it comes down to skill. It's not about swapping a credit card. It's about your skill. You've got to play well to unlock it. You know what I mean? That's, and, and, and that's how it, you know, that, that's it, you know. But yeah, it does cost a lot of money. I know it's very expensive. But yeah. Mm -hmm. 26,000 Turkish Lira. Right. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yo, we got the gold badge. Nice, nice. Uh, should we see what stage two is like? Okay, let's have a look. Actually, I've had enough for this evening. <laughs> I got my gold medal. I'm walking away. I'm walking away with my gold medal in my hand. <laughs> uh, listen, I'll come back and do some more of these another time. But hey, there we go, guys. We got our first gold medal. You guys seem to really enjoy me doing this. You guys have maintained the viewership. You guys have been sitting there chilling, watching me play this. You seem to be enjoying it, guys. I guess we can do live streams on challenge stages because you kind of enjoy it. 
Did you enjoy the commentary and me doing it? Like, did you find it entertaining me doing this content, playing these challenge stages and having a laugh with it? I'm assuming you did enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, then we can, we can, we can, man, I can, I can live stream this for sure. This, this will give me a shit ton of content playing this with you guys. This will take me forever to get through all this. Can you see how much content we've got here if we go through all this together? Holy shit. I think, I think we need to, I need, I, need to, I, I reckon I could, I reckon I could get a decent live stream going on doing these challenge stages. It's a shit ton of content, isn't it? It's a shit ton of content. Oh, I thought you were doing ASMR so I could fall asleep. Thank you, Dark Grave. That's great. Thank you. There was me thinking you were actually enjoying me playing these challenge stages. Dark Grave has to just bring me down back to level. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, you don't get many gems for doing it. I think like IGG should put way better rewards in there for doing that. Like, what? Look at this guy attacking me in the. It's like, look at these guys. <laughs> Look at these guys all losing to me in here. This guy beat me, but I mean... Should we go beat him back? Tenacious. See, I think my team's better than that. I think my team should win. And if I lose, it's just bullshit. Stupid RNG if I lose. No, see, look, my team's better. Free cut. Free stars. That means my team smashed him. Who's number one? The fuck? Why is ha Housler's number one? No, I ain't getting imagine, imagine getting beaten by my old main account. The shame that would that would cause. Oh my god. Yeah. Ha! Housler, suck my ass. <laughs> there we go. Number one, baby. Alright, so earlier on I said I picked up a new artifact. I never showed you because I totally got sidetracked. Uh, I did pick up a new artifact today. Which was that one. Yay! I got the Pixie Wing unlocked today, which is not the best one. It's defense, defense, but some range HP. So range HP, very, very nice. I upgraded it to level six to start with, and I haven't got no more brushes, so I can't do much more else with it. But I got the Pixie Wing unlocked. So super, super happy with that. Uh, what else did I do? I do anything else in here? Oh, yeah. I also got a 50 drop on the pining from afar so i now have 135 out of 100 or 135 i need 100 to go to four stars so when i get enough brushes i'll be able to take the pining from afar up to four stars which will take the infantry attack up to 10.2 and the infantry hp up to 8.1 it's only a small upgrade but i mean it's better than the kick in the balls right so yeah got an upgrade on that which i gotta do as well to four star so i got a couple of little things this morning i got a couple of little things now you can fly lucky you <laughs> the old account where he deleted all gear pieces yeah pretty much i then rebuilt it but I'm, i must be igg's favorite customer i deleted all my gear and then i rebuilt it all No, I don't want to test your rally truck. Can I ask you for two or three mixed rallies? Are you paying for the Lunite? Are you paying for the Lunite? Let me know. I'll give you my PayPal. I'm a bigger fan of your YouTube lives. I'm actually watching some replays. Thanks, bro. Yo, Prince, I'm offering some fun to you. Are you interested to hit my range front with Imp? Why do people constantly ask me to hit them? 35 mil troops here. Bro, you don't want any of this. Tier two front. That's what I can tell you. I'll release it to you for sure. You, 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 you're sure you're gonna cap me? And can you make it on YouTube if you want? I'm just bored and curious. How, how big are you? And we'll, we'll, we'll never know. He's changed his name already. Rally me. No, I, no. I mean, maybe. You're 700 million might. You don't want any of this, bro. You don't want none. Trust me. I'll hurt you if I rally you. Training boost on. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, I wasn't planning a Lord's Mobile stream today. I really wasn't. I was going to do just the World of Water stream. By the way, guys, if you didn't watch the World of Water stream earlier, you missed out. It was kind of cool. Uh, we've done a new event tonight in World of Water. 
I really, really enjoyed it. I'm actually, believe it or not, enjoying that game quite a lot. Um, I, I, I tend to dabble with mobile games. I play a game here and there, try a few different ones. A lot of them are all the same. It is similar. I mean, like it's basically Lords Mobile under the water, under the ocean. But I like the UI. I think the UI is kind of clean. And I think the game's kind of cool, man. It's a good game. Um, you should check it out. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good game. How did I find World of War? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Uh, the event was cool. I really enjoyed the event. It was nice. You know what was nice about the event, guys? The event was nice because it didn't cost any resources. It didn't cost any troops. Um, it was just basically a... Fr All you had to do was make sure that your stats are good and you've got troops in your castle to defend against them. And any wounded troops you had were instantly put back into your, into your castle, into your account. There was no cost involved. And the rewards were really good. Well, we don't get the rewards for another like 12 hours or so. But the rewards were banging. And we came second. My guild, because I'm the R5 over there. My guild came second across the whole event, across the kingdom. And uh, we had a player. We had one of our players in our guild who got second place, which was awesome. We got some extra good rewards. So, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, really, it's a really good event. Uh oh, sorry, that sounded rude. <laughs> I love all the content, bro. Thank you. I'm getting loads of messages now. <laughs> Rally me, full tier five and Trojan. No. Remember me. No. Why is my chat? Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't look at my messages for two seconds without that troll logging in and sending me a message. Are you watching the stream, bro? Do you always watch and look and then wait for your time to start spamming? Holy shit, bro. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, we're gonna zero it. We're gonna zero a darkness. Oh, I'm gonna zero a darkness. I'm gonna put a size boost on and everything. Guys, we're about to zero a darkness. I've never zeroed a darkness before. Let's send pure tier five. No buffers. Just pure tier five in. I'm gonna ask for T5 inf. T5 inf. I'm gonna zero that. I'm, I'm gonna zero a level six darkness. I've never done that before. Not zeroed. Have any of you guys ever zeroed a level six darkness? Like completely zeroed it. I'm gonna try and zero a darkness. You have? Oh nice. I've never done it before. Can I get general? Appraisal titles. Who's got oh chunky smurfs the bloody overlord region? Wait a minute. Let me try something quickly. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, guys. I'll try it for a laugh. See if it works. Um, hmm. uh, okay. Let me think. Mm, uh, General. Prince underscore YT. Boom. No. <laughs> no. That didn't work. <laughs> I was just trying it out, see if it'll work. Oh, Dr. Record gave me his lead. Thank you, bro. Going for a pure tier five infantry rally here right now, guys. Why is there tier four in here? Who sent me tier four? All right, you're getting sent back. Oh, it's the automated ones that are sending me tier five. Tier, tier, no, one troop can go away. Tier four can go away. There's that automated ones. No, I want tier four. I want tier five. I'm sending everyone that sent me tier four back. I'm sending all the one troops back. I want pure tier five imp. I want a pure tier five rally. <laughs> pure tier five. Imagine if it's a normal person. Too, too bad. Doesn't the, the healing bill is going to be minimal? It'd be all right. Let's go. Should I send a guild mail out for a dart nest? I think I'd end up losing players if I did that. Um, there we go. There we go. Um, that might have been a real player earlier. 
25 minutes. Where the fuck are you sending from? Kingdom 1? Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Day 2 of asking Prince to rally. No. Stop asking me to rally things. I get it all the time. Hello, Prince. Will you rally me, please? No. Um... Go, 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 go. Right, how much we're at? We're at what 2.1. We're nearly there, guys. Come on. I'm gonna send a guild mail out in a minute. <laughs> hey! There's nothing wrong with sending a guild mail out. That's what guild mail's for. Oh gosh, don't send out a guild mail. Yeah, but I need fills. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, how many people are going to be pissed off with that mail? <laughs> Yo, come on guys, Phil, if I don't zero this, I'm blaming the guild. Yo, fill my rally up. I don't care now. Send tier four. I don't care. Just fill it. Phil. Sure. Did it, did it fill? Did it? There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, uh, <laughs> they responded to the mail. Look. <laughs> Yo, listen, right? Trust, man. This is a big target. I'm going to put a 20% attack boost on. Am I in talents? Yeah. Look, listen, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, guys. You know what I mean? All right, here it comes. I'd be pissed if you woke me up with that. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Oh, look, I woke Noodler up. You fucking woke me up. I'm sorry, bro. Here it comes. Oh, this is going to be huge. We're going to zero this. Boom! <laughs> Thanks. Did I, I, I haven't looked yet. Noodle? What do you mean noodle? There's no way, man. It was all it was all range. How did I not zero it? What? Ah, oh, nah, man. This game sucks, man. This is some bullshit right here. This is some bullshit right here. There's no way I wouldn't have touched that range. No shot. Where's the familiar damage? The familiars target the largest true type. Where's the familiar damage? Why did I get all these familiars? Where, where, where ain't they? Nah, fuck you, chat. No, no. <laughs> no, bruh. I just hit... Fuck off, Noodle, man. You see what I just hit this thing with? I just smashed that shit out of that. No, 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 no. Look at my... How is that Noodle stats? I just hit that with a fucking 1720 or 1740. I don't, I don't, fuck this game, bro. This game sucks. Fucking crap, man. How the hell did I not get into the range? That's just dumb. You're telling me that 900,000 tier 4 imp stopped me from getting into the range. That's just dumb. Stupid ass game. No, this game sucks. Game sucks. So fucking hard. Oh my god. There you go, guys. Buy all the packs. Level up your imp gear. Get yourself to a big fat imp blast. And you, you too might not be able to even destroy the range. Cosmo wrote, we hate you, Prince, in the chat. <laughs> Try DM5. I ain't trying no DM5, dude. I don't do DM5s. Stupid ass game. Release your lead. Okay. I don't need to kill it, actually, because I've got enough. Uh, I've got enough aura boost. Detroit, it's the time to get yelled at by a bear. 
Well, for sending a Gilma. No, listen, bro. I'm allowed to do what I want. It's fine. I have free reign. It's okay. I can't believe I didn't hit the imp. I can't believe I didn't hit the imp. That sucks. Prince, when will we get rally trap action? I'm glad you asked, Pudgy. I'm glad you asked. Um, so the the schedule for the rally trap is I think it's gonna be either this Saturday or Monday next week. We're gonna be doing another live stream from the um we're gonna be doing another live stream from the uh, what's it called from the rally trap okay and we will be upgrading this time so we will be buying some packs and we'll be upgrading what needs to be upgraded okay so yeah we're gonna get the gear sorted we're gonna get the tier five open we're gonna train some tier fives we're gonna get get it in ready order in perfect working order ready to rock and roll so yeah and then i'm gonna go off and try and do some rally trapping i can't do it live on stream it's impossible for me to try and trap on stream so i'm gonna have to go off on my own in my spare time and visit some kingdoms and see if i can possibly try and pull in some rallies and then hopefully get some good recordings and then hopefully bring you some good rally trap content that's the plan uh so i am looking potentially for some guilds to go and play in especially when it comes around to kvk um if any guilds out there have got a spot for me in my rally trap then maybe let me know drop me a message and i'll uh, check your guild out and stuff and i don't need rains so you don't need to rain me okay um but ideally join a kingdom that's going to be getting involved you know fighting and stuff and everything so yeah if there's any guilds out there that want to take my rally trap in with me for kvk next time around let me know because the trap would be ready for kvk obviously so yeah friends please check that blitzkrieg guy out I, it's another big guy with with no kills i know what that is bro i'm pretty sure hang on a minute blitz b-i-l-t z-k-r-i-e-g yeah he's got like he's, he's like massive with no kills isn't it Wait, where is he? It's not that 2 billion guy. If I go to the might rankings, he's in the might rankings. I'm pretty sure he's in the might rankings. The world might, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's got one point. Who is that? That's not the same. Yeah, this is the same guy in it. He doesn't rally. He's got 1.7 billion kills, but he doesn't do anything. Crazy, man. 30 billion might. What a waste. Honestly, what a waste. 30 billion might. Holy shit. Just delete your troops, bro. Don't need all that many. Crazy. He is the number one fatty. Indeed. Oh, is that why you keep giving me them calls? Saying rally that. Okay. 795. 297. 485. Are you guys rallying him? Hey, under a under a bubble. Holy shit. 30 billion might under a bubble. Crazy. 30 million might under a 30 billion under a bubble, man. I've seen everything now. Yeah, he's 30 billion. <laughs> he's 30 billion might and he's under a bubble. What the fuck? That's crazy. All right, guys. That's all I got for you for tonight. It's half 10. I'm going to go and chill. I might go watch a movie or something. I don't know yet. But I'm glad we got to get some more Lords Mobile content out. You know what's really nice, actually? It's, I asked you guys this the other day, and you said you love it. You, you seem to enjoy me going live on Lords, even if I'm not doing anything specific. Like, Actually, I wanted to say this really quickly before you guys go and before I go. It's actually quite important. As a Lord, as a Lord's mobile content creator, I think it can get very much and not, not just talking about me now. I'm just talking about content creators in general, right? I feel like Lord's mobile content creators feel like they have to be spending money or buying things in the game to warrant them to make a video. 
or to warrant them actually going live and streaming a Lord's Mobile live stream. But they, they have to be buying packs, upgrading something, opening chests, playing a pay to win event, just doing something that requires doing something with money to actually do a live stream on Lords. But I want to say thank you to my community and everybody here um, because recently, and that's how I used to think. I used to think that as well. I had to go buy, I want to do a Lord stream tonight. I got to go and buy a full run of Holy Stars because I'm going to have to go in Labyrinth and do Holy Stars. I got to do something while I'm streaming. Um, but what I've realized recently, it's only just happened recently, is what I've realized recently is you guys will be here and hang out and chat and enjoy the stream whether I'm buying stuff or whether I'm just not buying stuff and just doing general stuff around the accounts or just doing my clicks chatting with you guys about stuff like tonight doing challenge stages in the hero stages I mean it's just nice that I can actually it actually really feels nice that I don't have to stress about buying stuff all the time I mean I do buy stuff I mean obviously <laughs> obviously I do buy stuff but it's nice to know I'm not under that pressure constantly that I always have to buy stuff to actually do a live stream. I can actually go live and just hang out with you and chat, play Lords, do some clicks, open some bits and bobs, do some dark nests, play some challenge stages, do whatever, Coliseum, whatever I want to do. I don't have to actually buy stuff to go live. So I just want to say thank you because that's only something that's happened recently. I've been streaming Lords for like six years. And only recently have I started feeling that way that I can actually go live on Lords and not have anything specifically paid for or bought or buying anything. It feels good. It feels good, man. So thank you very much. Yeah, do more do more gambles on Astra. I love doing that. I do, I do love doing that. It's fun. And we will do some more of that. But it's nice to know I don't have to do that all the time because it costs a lot of money, man, to do that shit all the time. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, okay, guys, smash the like button if you haven't done that already. I'm done for this evening. If you didn't check out the World of Water stream earlier, go check it out. See what you think. We've done an event tonight that was really, really cool. It wasn't like super, super exciting, but it was it was kind of fun. And the, uh, the guild was all online. There was loads of people online in the, in the guild. The guild chat was moving faster than the stream chat. It was insane. So go check it out. See what you think. It's actually a pretty good game. We do have some spaces available in the guild over there. We've got 75 out of 80 or 76 out of 80 right now. There's three or four spaces. We're working on Alliance Research to open up another five spaces. So we are still opening spaces. You still can set up a new account and come and join us. It's not too late to come and join us with a new account. Just let an R4 know when you apply that you are a new person. You watch the stream. Please let me in and we'll let you in and you can start help building up your account. All right. Um, so there you go. Thank you very much to everybody that came through today. I will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow is Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. It's Wednesday tomorrow. So tomorrow, I won't be playing Lords Mobile or World of War tomorrow. I will be jumping onto Final Fantasy X tomorrow for part three. It'll be a three hour stream and it will start around about 6 p.m. UK time which will be about 1 p.m. EST. I'll be starting that stream at about 6 p.m. So if you want to continue what, continue my journey with me through Final Fantasy X, my first ever Final Fantasy game playthrough, never played Final Fantasy before, uh, then come and join us uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, but that is... <laughs> I, just, I just gave you the schedule. Tomorrow, 6 p.m., Final Fantasy X. <laughs> That's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you again, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow for Final Fantasy. But until then, you know how this next bit's going to go. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out. Laters, guys. Bye.